Podcast, where you get all the latest gaming news, hot topics, and more. With guests Triple Cup Chuck, Live Wires Gaming, 108 Dragons TV, Bloody Knuckles, Operations Ops, 100 Live, live. and your host, K Mega 405. The GRG Podcast starts right, 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 right now. I don't know what the hell hell was going on in the background, but uh, I'm glad that it's over because Lemon was just going left. (laughs) Like, we know that he's well, but we don't know how long he's going to stay on because just like last week, his old ass might fall asleep. So that's why we had to be on time tonight so we can go ahead and get the most out of 108 Dragons TV. What's going on with you, bro? What's going on, everybody, man? The GRG... Uh, is doing it live, ladies and gentlemen. Is doing it live. So, without further ado, let's get to the bums. Uh, Bloody's out there doing some other things. He said his mascara and his nail polish was low, so he had Ooh. to do a 24-hour stream so he can make up for uh the cost. So, go ahead and good luck on that. I hope you get all the mascara and the lip balm and and toe and 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 uh and, and fingernail polish that you can get, bro. And so you can have some some uh disinfectant so you can polish those Satan rings. We know how that is. So anyway, and then 100, he has a serious matter to go to, so I'm not going to make fun of him. Uh he definitely has to take care of that. But um, other than that, man, and Livewire is Livewire. We don't know if he's going to come an hour from now or if he's going to come in about five minutes. That's just the bruh man, the Dolphin King, uh, <clears throat> a.k.a. Uh, Donald Trump. He's just acting a fool right now. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the crew. What's up with you, one away Dragons? I called you out. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Life is good, man. Ready to hit these topics, man. And uh, I think it's going to be a good one because um, I got some comments. I got some comments from a couple people today. Mm-hmm. Um, They really enjoyed our after show after yesterday. They really enjoyed our point of view. So I, I'm really uh, excited about these topics, man. I want to get uh, the GOG family up to speed on what we're doing. Right. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. All right. We're moving on down the line, man. <clears throat> uh. One of the newest members of the GRG family, man, PK Live. What's going on with you, man? I hope that gameplay is solid tonight. <laughs> Happy Friday, family, friends. It's glad to be here. It should be. It should be. I I personally made sure that I, I looked over it before I handed it over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I looked over it too, man. So, yeah, it was solid. It was solid. Actually, and it was and it's uh some, some new gameplay that I haven't seen uh, on GRG before. So, I'm looking forward to that. I was already, I watched the whole thing. I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Was, was it Animal good. Crossing? Uh, Maybe. <laughs> but I'm not going to say. Just have to see it. It'll come a little bit My later. Bad, PK. Yeah, yeah. Disrespectful. <laughs> disrespectful. Uh, but anyway, man, let's move on down the line. Uh, Man, the man has graduated from being the rookie of the year. Uh, for GRG is now, he's about to be a junior, about to be on his senior life. What's going on with you, Op? I know much over here just chilling, been grinding away on um, Call of Duty Warzone, Gears 5, and a little bit of Halo 5 right now, so. Nice. It's good for me over here. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and uh, appreciate the gameplay. I didn't ask for that much, though, sucker. Uh, Look, nigga, you need the gameplay. You got the gameplay. Bruh, 28 gigs of gameplay. Like that's mm-hmm. crazy. Can play for gameplay, for gameplay then. Uh, well, oh, but, but 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 it's the it's the same. It's like three games. Like I mean, there yeah. was there was no variety other than the. I told uh, you. Oh man. Anyway, I'll I'll take it. But next time, please chop it up. <laughs> chop it up. But I do appreciate it. There was one time where I had certain people that wouldn't ever give me gameplay, so I can't oh, be shit. complaining that much. So anyway, oh, all right. <laughs> Last but not least. Uh, man, a new guy, he's been here popping off, was supposed to take over for Lemetheus, and just like any other scoundrel, they come in and they just they just lounge out and, and, and just make themselves at home. So I guess, welcome Slick, Sick, uh, aka Slick Slayer. What's going on with you, man? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm pretty sure the more I start uh, sipping on this adult beverage, the more I'm going to have a hard time just saying it, so I'm just going to keep calling you Sick. What's up with you, bro? Just got paid. It's Friday night. I'm feeling oh, good, man. Oh, who sung that song? Huh? Oh, I, f- I forget his name, but I only uh, recently Ter- found that he Terrence died. Darby? No, was it Terrence? No, it wasn't Terrence Darby. Jesus Christ. 
I'll, just kept I'll find out later. But I only recently Friday found out that night. he died in an unfortunate uh, manner. Uh, uh, okay. It's a little sad, it's but yeah. Right. I'm like Johnny Kemp. Uh, no, Johnny, no, no. What, is Johnny, Johnny something? Johnny what? Johnny Kemp. Okay. Johnny Kemp. Yeah. Johnny Kemp. Johnny Kemp. Yeah, that that sounds about right. Ben Sink redid it. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Other Zinc, the show has started. That started. So, yeah, we're, we're in the uh, intro area. Yeah, we just got started. So, yeah, right on time, right on time, right on time. But anyway, go ahead and finish what you're going to say, uh, Sick. You there? Oh, I'm sorry. I muted myself uh, when you were speaking. <laughs> and I was speaking back. Oh, damn. I make the mistake a lot. I've, oh. I've been doing that for years, man. Oh. But, yeah, like I said, I uh, just got paid. It's Friday night. Bills is paid. With money left over. Pretty happy, you know? All right. Cool, 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 cool. All right, man. Well, let's get to it, man. Since we're light tonight, man, we might get out of here on time. Woo, boy. I know the people. We always is- light. Most of the panels light skin. <sighs> Even got a new edition of a light skin dude. You know what? You Every, like, you damn right. You got, Every you got like the last. Five heartbeats of well, the light skin dudes. Well, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold on, no, hold on. We still don't know what op is, man. So I don't know. We don't know his nationality. We can do it tonight. <laughs> he's a dirty light skin. Yo, he's a dirty light skin guy. He, he, <laughs> he needs a bad. I, 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 I think, I think, I think op, man, you know what I'm saying? Look, op, uh, we've had people that said op was uh, Hawaiian. Other people said he was uh, uh, Tasmanian. Uh, there was, Tasmanian? Uh, yeah, Tasmanian. We had other people that say he was uh, Guam. Uh, we had a couple of uh, people that said he was European. Uh, we still haven't got anybody to say he was an African American. So I heard he was ex bot brother. Yep. Yeah, uh, you know what? He could have been. Anyway, so Woo. all right, man. Without further ado, man, because we got to get into the, we got to get into these topics. It's not that many, but the main topic of the night we're definitely going to be going all in on that. I want to get everybody's thought process about it just kind of like what we did last week when we talked about the last of us too um so uh because it's caused a lot of controversy good god man uh we'll definitely talk about that get everybody's thoughts of what they thought about the show stuff like that but first let's start off a little bit light and let's talk about something that just came out this week just the other day which was mortal kombat 11 uh showing uh a new dlc which is called aftermath and it shows a different story uh with shang soon fujin which there was a lot of rumors of that of that character coming back and then night wolf and sindel and shiva uh have everybody already seen this oh yeah okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and yeah yeah i'm gonna go to my man uh op because i know he's not big in the fighters but i want to get his thoughts about it if he uh if he's seen it and uh and what do you and what do you think about that man maybe you might have to skip me on this no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> just give, give me your thoughts i, I want to know i mean you don't have to you know you don't have to play every genre but if you... it's cool but like mm-hmm. i don't care <laughs> he can't talk about robocop because he wasn't born right right like that was going to be like i mean you don't even <laughs> do, 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 you, do you remember robocop at least do you remember robocop yes, i've seen the original i like I like him as a movie, but mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not big into moral comments. So I really don't care that much. But it's, cool. it's a cool addition to the game. Okay. All right. All right. So l- let me ask you this question then. So uh, at least th- this is a gaming question. This isn't about fighting. Uh, what do you think about this new strategy um, that Mortal Kombat is implementing into the fighting genre, uh, which is kind of like a deep, uh, deep s- narrative story uh, that that uh th- that they added with dlc do you think that that is something that more fighters should should implement into the future instead of just adding just the season pass of just characters you think that 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 this model will will probably kind of translate over to other fighters i think so because like in new district characters each season great mm-hmm. let's understand like this is not just a hardcore community you have within this game it's also casual as well who play every now and then mm-hmm. newcomers as well so in dlc a story base people are more into story than the actual mechanics the gameplay of it bringing more bringing more fans over a long period of time at this point so i think they will be smart going forward hope it works for them it's like their population to play with doesn't nothing wrong with that at that point but uh, hopefully it does work real well for them okay all right cool quick to the point gosh you really do hate fighters bro what's the problem i got to ask you yeah, this i just don't care what, from that but why, why, why not it's cool but 
that gets home. What's the problem? What's, what's the problem? Did, some, did, some, did somebody just, just, did you have like an older brother or a sister or something that just dominated you? Or maybe your pops or somebody just played you in a fighting game and just beat the living hell out of you? And you just kind of like, you know what? I'm never going to play this genre again. I mean, what happened? Somebody must touch you with a controlling in an appropriate manner, yo. This is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You look at person. I mean, I'm just saying, did somebody, did somebody just do you dirty like that? I mean, what's the Whoa. problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm going almost every game genre there is. You said somebody all oh, Kelly do with a controller. Right? Yeah. Real time, you try to break most of these fighters. It's just it's hard <laughs> okay. to get into. Right. I have to sit down and dedicate time to it. <laughs> right. You got to put time and dedication to it. I get it. I get it. Not everybody's into everything, but, you know, I yeah. mean, you would think for a person that kind of likes the challenge, <laughs> since, you know, I mean, I know you and you would think you would like that challenge. I mean, fighting gives that. Fighters are, are probably one of the oh, best games when it comes Actually, to just... I don't put the time into it. Yeah, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. But you'll put your time in the war zone. It just doesn't make it. Damn right. Uh, anyway. Are you good at it? I'm getting better. Oh, okay. You ain't watching his gameplay? His gameplay suck. He's out there. He's lighting them up. Yeah, he's in jail right now. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I... I mean, he dead. Yeah, that really did. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm over here trying to give him props. 28 gigs of gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway... Uh, oh, <laughs> let me go ahead and go to PK. I see live is in the building. He did come in in a in a in a respectful time, so appreciate that. Uh, before PK, you uh, get started. What's going on with you live? How you been, brother? Not much, you know. We play against tactic, uh, oh, and uh, right. you know I've been putting up my gameplay. Yeah, man, that's my shit. Yeah, against tactic is my shit. I'm addicted. I'm, I'll be man. The days I'm playing, I'll be up. Damn, the three o'clock playing that shit. You asked 100 about that shit. If I'm not, like, you know what to me it is? Like, go into the game, I, I, I play like that, and I'd be up. Like, even when I'm, like, I don't get tired when I'm playing it, it would be uh, 2K. But I used to be up uh, NBA 2K heavy because because it's the, the way the game stimulates, like, with something going on, like in 2K. So, like, when I used to play that shit, man, I used to have to, like, force myself to get off. Otherwise, I be mean, going to work tired as hell. Yeah, you know I mean, so but it, it, gears, man, that shit. Listen, whatever they <laughs> did with gears, bro, that shit needs to come to gear six. All that customization shit, and that shit still looks smooth as hell, bro. You need that in part six. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, also, and, uh, hold on, hold on for a second. Yeah. Um, I don't. Was this? Was that e Slayer? Was that Xbox that asked that question about the uh, about? The situation with his PC or whatever. Um, I think it was uh, what was was that in the chat? Uh, 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 Fierce play and um, she's so elite. Uh -huh. And um, Spot doesn't have his speakers plugged in, so. Oh, okay. So well, yeah, there is an option that you can that you can get on uh, on Mixer audio. to where you could just do audio only, and you don't even have to worry about. You know, messing up your. Uh, you know. The game is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna be missing some fire gameplay. Can and, you see and the gameplay the in the stream? I can't see nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Ascent. Yeah. It just back after it said ascent there. So, yeah. Oh, there. Back. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, just hit refresh if y'all having an issue with that. But yeah, if you having a problem with your uh situ, you having a situation with with uh the, just looking at the gameplay aspect of it of the show, just go to audio and just listen. Or to try it. another browser. Uh, yeah, either way, either way. Refresh the page. Try try all three. But we we appreciate you guys here checking us out, listening to us. But okay, uh, go ahead, Laf. Go ahead, finish up what you was gonna say. I'm sorry. Oh no, I was just saying that um, like the way they have their characters and gears tactics. Uh, if if you know the whole numbers for Halo with the banish and all that stuff were coming to Halo Infinite, mm -hmm. some of those characters need to come to to gears at least gears five for more. They got this elite that looks like Bane. He's juiced up. That uh, motion shit, on fire, dog. I was like, yo, these characters don't with shit, yo. They gotta put them in the game. Yeah, you're further along than I am, but yeah, no, I, I'm getting into certain characters that uh, that that are pretty cool. I mean, of course, I got Cole uh with the uh, uh with the DLC, uh, but yeah, yeah no, I, I, no, I'm. Well, I'm that's just... what I'm. You, you know what? Because the thing I appreciate about the game is they did just give us gears as we already knew it. Right, they added little things to it. That's, that's the thing. That right, like it's it's definitely going another pattern, which means that they can definitely have its own set of story. It's, it's it reminds me so much of Halo uh, of Halo Wars too, in the in the fact like it they have their own little world, own situations, 
everything about it, even though it's a prequel, it's done mm-hmm. really well for for what I played. I'm on le- I'm on level five or six now. Uh, yeah, I so, can't even. Uh, music. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 hey, music. hey, 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 hey. Just hey. got down like with Assassin's okay. Creed Odyssey thanks to all this time off. Yo, that's a good game. Uh, K-Mega could definitely go into that game deeper than I can. Yes, I beat that game, put 400 plus hours into it. Bro, it is amazing. It is amazing. So thank you so much, music. Man, and my bad, because I thought this was N- I could always call, I could always say NYT. Like, like New York time music. Like, I thought, like, oh, East Coast fans. You don't know abbreviations? Bro, no. Now, that's one thing I'm not, bro. I'm old on that, son. I'm old on that, bro. Hey, no, no. That's abbreviations. <laughs> like, when my kids try to get, you know, give me those abbreviations, bro. LOL. Uh, what F- about PTP? You know what that means? FRFR. Uh, uh, you know what PTP means? Okay, stop showing your age. Just, just move. <laughs> what? What, 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 is, what is PTP? Point to point. Yo, listen, man. Come on. Let's move on. Let's bro, go. Bro, bro. I don't know. Listen, listen. I know there's people that's PYT. listening. Okay. Oh, that's pretty, pretty young thing. I know that. That's pretty PYT. Oh, that's not what that means. What, what, does, what, does, what does PYT Yo, come mean? On. Oh, we about, they about to go in on okay, you. Okay. Hey, bro. I don't know. I, I listen. It's about to be abbreviation lit. Uh, hey. Nigga, what's this? Okay, nigga, what's this? I don't know. I don't know. I went, know. To, school. I went back to public school. Oh, public school. Bro. Oh. bro. Um, Hi, <laughs> bro. Disrespectful. Anyway, uh, <laughs> PK, the, back to Mortal Kombat. Okay, what did you think about the uh, trailer to Aftermath? And uh, just like I asked Op, man, I mean, do you think that this is something that fighters should be implementing uh, of trying to get a better narrative, uh, a story storyline uh, into all into their DLC as well? So. Uh... I think it's two parts to this. So yeah. my first part is I'm extremely hyped. Now, I, I got to be honest. I don't own MK11. I, I'm sad to say I, I did not get it. Dude, but, you, but, you got, but you got Animal but. Crossing. But you got Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Before we go there. No, 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 no. Don't, uh, uh, hey, but you got I Animal not, Crossing. But you do not I, have Mortal Kombat 11. I never said I had Animal Crossing. Oh, I'm just, okay? I'm assuming. That's, that's the limit. Thing. But, the, but, yeah. but the way that you <laughs> came with it. Hey, was hey. It up. I figured, hey, you hey. made that purchase. Hey. I, do not, I do not own Animal Crossing. Your oh, wife I'll does. Stop, it's, in your house, it's, I'm, it's in I'm your house, this, it's in your I'm, house. I'm going to say this, dude. Check this, check this out, bro. <laughs> I, I will get MK11. I'm, I'm hyped. Every All time, right. I'm going to just say this. Netherrealm has put their foot into hyping every time they introduce a new guest character. And I am hyped for uh, Robocop. I don't know how you're going to play, but I'm so excited. Ever since MK9, right, Mm -hmm. we have seen Freddy, Jason, Predator. We've seen people to come to this fighting fighting game genre. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I thought Smash did good guest characters, but NetherRealm has been putting a foot in this right oh yeah and, oh yeah i, I mean ninja turtles fighting batman yo and now we got we got spawn last and now we got mm. robocop like mm. they just keep it coming bro and and i'm and even though i don't have a game i watch it all the time because i'm always into the fighting game tournaments i, I competed myself so I'm, I'm addicted to watching these guys uh shout out to sonic fox but anyways um what I'm saying is I am super excited to see uh, NetherRealm put this much work into, yes, uh, a, a narrative-driven expansion to a fighting game. That is a surprise, yet is welcoming. So I hope that they continue to do this because this shows their dedication to their fans, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm super ha- happy about all this. And I am a fan of fighting game fan. I just didn't... I. At the time the NK level came out, there was some other stuff, and you know how it is when we get a lot of games. What's the other game? What's the other game, man? I'm putting you I, on the spot. I can't tonight. remember. I can't remember. You've been, you been here long enough. Be it's, it's time to it's time to break you open. What's, I can't, what I is can't remember, but uh, I know I put 400 hours into it. So I, I, okay. I I'm just At saying. Least you did that. I'm just saying that stuff happened. No. Okay. I, you know how I feel about Pokemon 20. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. And, I do. Was it in the Nintendo game? Was it in the Nintendo game? I I. When did NK11 drop? Uh, March of la- uh, March about two years ago, right? Or no, March about a year ago. I don't remember because Fire Emblem didn't come out to June, so I don't remember. 
I think um, it was April. Oh yeah, March a, a, April. A, a, yeah, March April of uh, of last year. It was year. around that time frame. Yeah, it was yeah. around the time where. Is that uh, still playing Monster Hunter? I I don't remember. Well, but it, it was been. something else. Going. <clears throat> okay. But anyways, I it's not that I I love the game. I think the game is uh, awesome. But yes, so I think they should continue to do this. I don't know how much since the game has been out, and hopefully it comes to Game Pass soon. Um, now that the the MK10 is moving out. Um, but I hope they continue this this kind of thing. I don't know how much they would do to support this particular game, but um, in general, I think they're doing a great job over there at NetherRealm, and I, I just want to give them a big hand and a high five. Like, you know, I, I, I'm going a, I'm to a get MK11, trust, but this I want to get it all. I'm going to get all the DLC and everything because it, it's, it's like worth the money. Unlike some of the DLC, you know, they want you to pay up front, but they don't even know you're not even knowing what you're gonna get. And and I and I will say that, unlike some people or some companies uh, that are known for jipping some of their customers, aka Capcom, with uh, Marvel versus Capcom three, and then six months later re-releasing the game for you to buy a brand new game instead of the DLC. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I'm a little sore from that. Um, I think in general, bringing to life all these classic nostalgic characters is a way to attract new people to your franchise. No doubt. All right, cool. That, that That's all right. Uh, and it's going to be affordable too, because um, it's for everything is going to be 60 bucks, everything. So, you know, you, you would, uh, it comes out on the 26th of this month. And uh, if people that have not got have haven't picked it up, op, um, it would be it would be good to uh, just pick it up for the regular price of uh, any other game. So and have all the content, uh, all the characters, all of that. So uh, I, you know, uh, yeah, check it out, check it out. Even if you're not into fighters, uh, I think that you would like the story. Yeah, I think that the, st- the story is pretty good in my opinion. I think it's really good. So, all right, cool. Uh, all right, Slayer. What is your thoughts about the uh, about the aftermath trailer? And the same thing to you. Do you think that more fighters should implement this type of uh, uh, this type of thing yeah, with their okay. season pass? Uh, all right. Well, uh, just before that, um, one hundred had a, a a correction for you. He says it's fifty bucks. I uh-huh. thought it was fifty nine ninety nine. It's it's forty nine. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'll check it out. But go ahead. What, what are you gonna say? No, the yeah. whole game, if you buy it with the DLC, is sixty dollars. Yeah, that's okay. So, um, cool. the DLC itself is forty bucks, thirty nine ninety nine. Excellent. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, so <clears throat> and, Oh yeah, and then to have it with the extra characters, there is it, it's fifty bucks. There, there's three Man. different tiers. Well, there's two aspects to this. So, right. okay, first of all, MK. And uh, what you call narratives, um, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. You care about the characters because they built up the character of the characters, if you follow. Okay? And so you add, you know, all types of fan favorites that fit the genre. You got um, Jason and what is it? The alien. Um, you got the predator on there. All types of awesome characters because you know it fits the mold of mortal Kombat. you know it's so visceral and you know action-packed and all that and it's just like wow and they always have a plot to go with that um with story modes unlike street fighter okay i got i have to put my dig at capcom too you know Mm. so okay I don't own Mortal Kombat 11 just yet myself either. Oh, man. I'm and tired I of talking to you. A little Frog, later on. Man. But I think that later Bro. on is about now because I didn't know you can get all the DLC because I know the game is on sale right now, but I didn't know I had all this DLC and you can get the whole thing for 60 bucks. That's a, that sounds like a sale to me. I don't think I should be waiting any longer because mm-hmm. I didn't know about all of that. No, so, no. Uh, 60 bucks. 60 bucks? I think I'm sold on that. And the morning I might just grab that. But um, uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat, man. It, and it's always been about that, but but especially in recent years with these recent um, versions of Mortal Kombat, um, ever since MK9, you've been adding all these characters and stuff with DLC, and it just fits so well. Except for um, RoboCop, that's a slow character. I don't know how that's going to fit or work out, but hey, uh, I haven't even seen gameplay of them yet, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Well, I've heard they said that uh, 
you know, since the game, RoboCop a pit will. just kind of sneak in here? <laughs> well, how did Lawrence Lord, Lord just snuck in here? <laughs> Lawrence G just snuck in. I saw when he popped in, but he just came in talking like he was like like he was just a part of everything. Like like hey man, like everybody know you. Hey man, you can't just be talking without nobody. You, you gotta introduce yourself. What's going on oh, with you, Lawrence G? What's happening, man? Do, Intr- I ain't gotta do nothing but be black and die, bro. Okay, that, that, we, yeah, that part is true. Get chased down and, and, and shotgun down. But other than that. Right. No, but nah, you gotta introduce yeah. yourself to the people. No, indeed. No, indeed. No, I'm just messing with y'all. Yeah, I know. Y'all, what's good, world? How y'all doing, man? It's been a minute. Been a hell a long time. Yeah, got some. Got some. Uh, <laughs> been busy, but I'm trying to make time for the for those who make time for me. So, but uh, my name is LG, okay, Lawrence Gilmer. But I am here. We are talking about stuff. I'm here to jump in, and you know, I'm happy to be here for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All Cool, nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. All right, uh, you know, and let people know that you stream too. What's your what's your stream? Oh, I do, I do yeah, stream. Yeah. I, I do stream. I yeah. do, I do stream. I'll be forgetting that. <laughs> but I stream right now. I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Um, I do stream on Twitch and a little bit on getting back on YouTube slowly but surely, and uh, and Mixer as well. So, uh, two ten LG on both Twitter and I mean, uh, tw- Twitter, Mixer, and Twitch. All right, nice, nice. All right, well, what was you gonna say now? To, uh, no, um. I was saying no, like somebody had made a joke about uh, RoboCop was gonna be smooth because it, uh, the animations in MK11 mm-hmm. were kind of already choppy as it was. Uh, I don't know who said that. Who All said I was saying that, that the character is slow. Cause RoboCop, you see the way he walks. I don't know what's gonna happen with all that. I don't know how he can fit, yeah. but um, he's gonna be a if you saw these character. other characters. Yeah, he will if, be fine. And I'm, I'm gonna kill yeah, y'all yeah, when I'm, I'm whooping on your asses. Okay. I'm confident he will. <laughs> that, but then I'm not a game developer, so I don't have to. I, I ain't gotta he'll be work. fine. He, yeah, he'll be he'll fine. Be all right. I, I don't know. Like, I think honestly, I haven't touched Eleven like after its release in in a minute. I just, I like the story is great. Don't get me wrong, the story uh, is is a, one of the better stories that I've seen from the MK series. Um, the character design is, is just fucking trash to me. A lot of them. And, really? You know what? A lot of yeah. people, like, a lot of diehards like 10 <laughs> more than they do 11. And and then you got, like, somebody that's like me, because, I mean, I'm not the, the, the best in Mortal Kombat. That's really me not. But, but I, I love MK11 a triple <laughs> billion times more than MKX. MKX is probably the worst fighter that I... That I that I've ever played. I'm not good at that. Wow. I'm just not. I'm just wow. not good at it. Can you if, kick the host out? Can the cook? Can the host? Uh, get uh, hey, hey, no, I'm, no, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not I just I'm, really want to know. Did I, I hit the host I, button in his mother? I'm, no. Right, the, the story I'm, into the I'm story in that, X. No. The story is X. The story in X is excellent. <clears> uh, the gameplay is cool. It's just that it it doesn't like. When you come from nine to X, it is not even the same game. And to me, it's like, why is it so drastically changed? Like, I mean, can I do mm. something at least similar? I mean, they don't even have scorpions, you know, throw the same. Like, I was so, like, just. You I do I, have it. Depends on it. It, de- it depends on the stance. They got three different forms, the well, variations I, I of character. That. I know that. But, but you but you're not a Mortal Kombat expert. Um anyway, kick this and, dude. And neither, <laughs> neither, neither, neither is you. So listen Oh yes I am. Let's, let's I'll, whoop the, I'll whoop flames out of you, boy. Okay, well we can, anytime, anytime you want that. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday night fights. <laughs> Sunday night <laughs> fights, man. I'll even have nah. Oh, we could do world M- MK- oh man, are you sure about that? Yeah, Sunday mm-hmm. Night Fights. We could do MKX as the game I hate the most. And Tekken and, Tag. And we could do uh, Ooh, you, you, don't, you don't you don't want this. You Which don't want one? That. Tag two? Tag, tag two? two? Yeah. We could do Tekken oh, Tag and we could do Mortal Kombat Eleven. Yo, that, just to set it off. Tekken Tag is so much better than seven, it's ridiculous. It is better after we played it. I cause I I went I went everybody. <laughs> it is. Ass. I was playing I was it all like, day oh, last night. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. Yeah, so let's let's stay back on focus. All right, so uh so what what else was you gonna say, uh, Lawrence? No, I just didn't like the de- like the overall design and and like the design from ten to me was was one of the better ones. Like nine and ten were, were really great designs, but when you go to eleven and, and and to me, like this is why gatekeeping is a big as kind of a should be a thing because you, when you just let anybody in your hobbies and they start changing shit, it it, it fucks it up. To me, like, and and I and I don't, and I'm like, and I'm saying that to keep it 100. Like, you know, I I don't I don't like the designs. Like, they give Jade, you know, how does Jade go from her design in nine 
to 11 wearing some, you know, some, you know, fully clothed outfit with some kitty heels, you know what I'm saying? With the Jesus paid it all 13s on her boot, you know, on her feet, you know what I'm saying? Like these characters, the characters were meant to be outlandish. And, and that's, and that's exactly the point of the game. It was outlandish. It wasn't no, well, super realistic type game. I don't, I don't understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's just me. That that's a personal personal thing you know you still like it it's cool i haven't really touched it much like i said now i do like the story i will watch it on youtube when i find somebody that gets the story and and i will watch the aftermath on youtube i i definitely will do that but other than that no okay playing it no all right so so i mean that's good to to hear because i mean i don't think anybody else uh would would admit that situation i mean i'm not i don't really care that they made uh that they that they kind of put more clothes onto the characters i mean i've i mean yeah like i mean of course if you you know melina the way that they have her look sexy and stuff like that but i ain't coming back well, <laughs> yeah, you know i think back. i think but, Bro, well, can, have you seen people complain about melina like like right after that video like there was like i looked under the uh thing on twitter mm -hmm. and people were like dying like People were like, "Well, where's Melina? Where's Melina?" <laughs> People been asking for Melina. Well, well I know that, but look, they, they also got to look at things like that in development. Like this is this yeah. is this is the stuff that I I like to I, when I talk to a couple of de developers other than Don. Like mm -hmm. they all got the same type of, and they, you know what? And really, if you really listen to a lot of them, they all kind of sound alike. Like they're all kind of like mm -hmm. monotone and stuff like Don. It's crazy, <laughs> but it's but but it's like they um low key you know what i'm saying they just they just kind of low key just talk got that same type of talk they soft talk yeah. spoken it's kind of crazy but but uh right. but the one thing that i learned about it is that they they have to figure out the balance because more than anything and this is the pro and, and i think this is what we're going to get into when we start talking about the x the xbox situation is that mm -hmm. people complain so much that they can damage a game like like man right, for instance right. when i played when i got the chance to play man at e3 last year um yeah that game played perfect running game was solid passing game was solid uh of course they, i didn't know all the ins and outs about the passing game because of you know some of the new implications that they they put into it but but because it's getting patches because the people that play it the most that's looking for ways to cheat the system they the ones to do the most complaining and then and then or or the the, the so-called hardcore they'll complain 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 then when they'll change it they'll come back to it and then they're complaining about something else and then they then they drop the game and then you have just yeah. only a certain group of people that will that will play the game that that will exploit whatever the problem is and then it's just a never-ending cycle like exactly when the game like when mortal kombat when mortal kombat 11 first came out it played perfect um mm. now i hear a lot of people talk about like you know that's because a lot of people like to grab and shit now they like to oh, do yeah. a couple like and and I, and I know it gets annoying i wish developers would just get back into just saying this is where the game is going to be we'll patch a few things but if you're just not you know but for the people that supposedly like because the one people that's getting the most uh recognition are people from evo I, we had a long talk about this uh at, at uh sunday night fight night Mm -hmm. when we were talking about tech and and yeah. other games and how we appreciate dead or alive sticking to its core it hasn't changed it implements a few things but it keeps to its core it hasn't changed anything now the the microtransactions aspect of it is, is ridiculous but like when you play tekken mm -hmm. it's absolutely completely different than tekken tag which which and, and like tekken 6 which i appreciate more than tekken 7 at this point but anyway um Anything else you want to add on this, Lawrence? Before I go to to One Way Dragons on this, uh, I, I I agree with you on it. And, yeah. and but um, I was watching a video on it was a podcast on Tekken Seven. Actually, mm -hmm. it was a group of players. Um, it was a group of players and and a guy by the name of uh, I don't know if y'all heard of him, the main man S main man Sui mm -hmm. S W E. Yeah, uh, he he's a big Tekken Tekken player. Mm -hmm. um, he does a lot of content on YouTube. He did a podcast with him and um, a few other players. Um, and they were saying that basically the, the balancing issue, um, is it, they, they normally try to go for balancing. They're balancing according to what the top players are doing. Right. And, and sometimes that's a bad idea. That because is a bad, that's what we, we're talking about. The like, top player, Evo the top players make players, up, yeah. the top players make up at least 
the pro the, like the top of pro players make up like a very small percentile of the population of people that play your game. Most of the people that play the game are, for example, will use Tekken are are in the green ranks. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think I saw a, a, a picture of this, like an older picture, and it was like, and it showed like the breakdown of rankings. Um, that like I'm in the red ranks in Tekken Online on Tekken Seven, mm-hmm. for example. Like according to that, I was like within the top two percent of people who play Tekken according to PC and P, you know for PC. And it was a little bit, a little bit different for PS4, but that's just going to show like most like the stuff that balance the balances that they're trying to make. Sometimes like a lot of core people that like a lot of uh, not core people but uh we'll say normies don't recognize the changes they're like subtle stuff that people don't really get you know what i'm saying and sometimes you got to be careful of just just doing things just for the pro players you know you got to be able to have like you said that balance and i definitely agree with that you know what i mean yeah well, well it seems to me like maybe they're trying to get that esports money so listen to that evil that crowd exactly to try to appease them is. to yep. get that esports money that's yeah, exactly that's what it is true. that's why street fighter was the mess that it, Street Fighter Five was the mess that it was because they were all about trying to get that esports money, and yeah. instead of thinking about the players themselves, and it it and actually it hurt, it, 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 hurt, it, hurt yeah. it hurt the game sales dramatically. Yeah, it did, especially at the beginning, and and yeah. that's something that you can't like. It's it's good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, especially now more than ever, that like, and I said this. I think we talked about this years ago. That esports is definitely going to be a thing. Like that. Mm-hmm. And especially now with with you know with with certain um pandemics going around right now i know we can't say that on wherever we're at but um you know with everything going on that esports is definitely here to stay nba is canceled it, you know nfl is you know we got to wait to the end of the year for nfl anyway um you know other stuff is can't other sports are canceled right now and guess what the only thing that's left is esports esports is still strong so yeah i i get it you want to get more people into esports but you also have to understand that once again, it's still a game at the end of the day. And yeah, you, you definitely want your top, you know, you definitely want people that can hang up there, the top players and stuff like that. But, you know, it's definitely good to see somebody, you know, that's dedicated to the game, play a top player and, and hang with the top players instead of, you know, edging out that competition. You know what I mean? That's right, just- right, right. No, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Um, I, I definitely do. So, okay, well, let me, let me, let me go to you. Get your thoughts about this, man. Um, Meaning lose. I missed it. I missed uh, it, though. What, uh, <laughs> what, Not the only one, bro. Uh, what, what happened? Uh, what's, what's, what's going on uh, with the Mortal Kombat thing? Are you, are you happy with the whole aftermath situation? And just like what yes. I was asking, would you want other fighters to take on what Mortal Kombat is doing with their season passes by implementing more, more detailed stories? Because a lot of them are very shallow. Well, man. Um. Well, the Tekken series has always done a pretty good job at their stories. Um, uh, not too many others. Dragon Ball Z fighters, nah. I don't know if you really count the Goku stuff. Um, but um, I'm very happy with Mortal Kombat 10 and 11. 10, because I'm a big movie guy. You know, I buy a lot of 4K movies, a lot of Blu-rays. And to see my fan favorites like The Predator, Jason... Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, that's the one I couldn't remember. Uh, uh, now, now you got uh, you got the alien, you know, in ten. That's what made me come back to the game. Now, see, I don't know if you remember this. Remember when I we met Ed Boon? I went into the whole history of Spawn and was breaking down how the character should be working to Mister Ed Boon. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he said after the DLC, we got a bigger surprise that's going to continue the game. He didn't tell us what. No. But let's not forget, he told us that at E3 last year mm-hmm. when we was on that stage. But to see RoboCop in it, that's one of my fan favorites, man. Except for part three, that shit was gar- I mean, that was garbage. <laughs> but um, I'm excited, man. And I think more games should put more behind the fighting. I mean, behind the story in a fighting game because I don't like uh, what's the What's the superhero one called again, man? Injustice. Injustice. I, Injustice. I don't like I don't like Injustice, the, the timing in the fighting. It's definitely different than Mortal Kombat. I know they did that on purpose. But one thing you cannot deny in that game is that story was crazy. Oh, yeah. The cutscenes was amazing. And I didn't I didn't play through it. I own it, but I ain't played through it. But I watched people on YouTube and stream the game on Mixer and Twitch and Twitch. 
because I wanted to see what happens between Batman and Superman and where they was going with this. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely keeps you playing. You know, like I said, Spawn was a no-brainer. I ain't pick up Mortal Kombat in like eight months. Perfect. And they was like, yep. and they was like Spawn and and sick to tell you, I own every DVD to Blu-ray <laughs> on Spawn. You know, when Ed Boone was talking to me, he was like, oh, you really a Spawn fan? I said, uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> I was excited to hear my man come. I said, man, I'm not playing a game until Spawn is released. And that's what happened. And now they dropping RoboCop. I don't care. He's slow, fast, whatever. I'm going to make it work because that's one of my another series I'm a fan of, just like The Predator, just like Freddy Krueger, just like Jason and The Terminator. So these things added to the story. And, you know, I'm a fan of um, DLC content that adds more variety to the game because it definitely makes you revisit. Look how many people are playing The Division again. The Division was $3 two months ago. And now, look, everybody on my goddamn list is playing The Division every day. You know, wake up and go to sleep. It's like when Destiny drops a, 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 a DLC that's really good, people jump right back in. So this is a type of DLC that I'm in, I'm intrigued where the story going to go because the first story was great. The first story was great. And now Shang Tsung coming off, and he and then he getting the cutscene. He said, listen, we at a point I don't even know what's going to happen. So you want to know what happens. So I think I think fighting games that get good backdrop. It can't be no game that the characters ain't got no history. You know, a game like Street Fighter, they could do it. It's a lot of history behind all those characters. They could make a great story-based game based off the animes. Like people would really, really enjoy that. People who play the Goku, uh, the Dragon Ball Z games. You know, like when I first started playing them, and they and you did a move in the game in the story mode and you actually see what happened from the cartoon and it translated to the game. You like, yo, I seen this. I seen this in one of the episodes. You, you like that. So I think, I think it's great, man. And I'm, I'm very excited and I will be day one purchasing at 40 bucks that extra content. I will be on board. Definitely. Yeah, I'm not planning on trying to get it here. Probably in the next And you week. got, and you got new levels. You got new friend friends, uh, the friend, yeah, the friendship. I ain't never doing it. Yeah, I ain't never doing that. I don't play well, those are so sold. They are so dope. I, don't I want to rip your eyes out. I want your guts to spill. Bro, the listen. friendships look so dope. Though. The friendship, the friendship listen, is I ain't doing no friend. We not friends. Not in Mortal Kombat. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sportsman conduct in, in, in Mortal Kombat. I don't know who saw that anime, but Mortal Kombat don't play that. So I, I it feels out here, fellas. Which oh, I, definitely, definitely. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely. Well, like I yeah, said, sick. what was you going to say? Sick? Somebody got a paint. Somebody gave up some embers. Oh, um, hold on, let me go here. Let me go here. Let me uh, go here. Fierce Play XO. Well, really, Fierce Play. He put O and X to make sure he get his name. Oh, wow, <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, uh, Fierce. Appreciate it. Uh, honey. Yeah, oh, honey. Fierce, Fierce is the homie, so give him a shout out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Pierce. Thanks to 100 for reminding us, too. Yeah, well, because I was I was looking at other stuff. I was... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's why you up. got a team. Yeah, Don't yeah, worry about you, it. Thank you, good. thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. He says, I was heavily into Mortal Kombat, but I, I got tired of the political garbage they, they added in MK11. Just look at Jack's character ending. Yo. Uh, okay it was it was so woke not going not going to lie i'm a little excited for aftermath uh told you i'd check out the stream pk thank you thank you fitz i really and listen like i said we here at grg man like we talk about a little bit of everything i know we're going to get into the big the big topic that i think everybody wants to hear but i like to touch on other things other than the same stuff that everybody else does uh, because I think that, you know, because as gamers, all types of content is is important. And even though there might not be a lot of people on the, that's that's watching uh, now and then later are into fighters, but just because we talk about it and things that might get them intrigued and maybe want to check them out or for any other yeah. game genre out there. I mean, we're all gamers and all that. So, man, really appreciate that. And then I look down and I see my boy Jazzy Noop. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, and uh, you know what? My boy, oh, Dragon Heart Yobi. Lemon, can you read that for me, man? Can you read that for me, bro? 
Hold on, give me a sec. Drop my headset. Drop my headset. Okay, all right, man. Come on. I was man. locking my dog up. I'm here. All right. Hey, can you uh, can you read what uh Dragon Yobi said, man? Thank you. Dra Dragon Heart Yobi said, man. Okay. The real source to gaming success, aka the greatest, greatest human alive through all I'm not reading that. Ah, <laughs> what <was it? laughs> hey man, you were sounding good, man. With yo, that, listen, with that, with that, with that, you want to your own to fly. Fly. You come on hey, and you come read that. Hey, yo, bro, you hit be, that New York. Think, I think the really thing you will be is your son. Hey, I really man. think you can't <laughs> your son to do hey, this. Yo, he's my boy, man. Yo, we represent. I don't bro. know. He might be your pet. This uh, shit getting crazy. What you talking about? Hey, man, that's my boy right there, man. Real one right there. Lemon, read this. I was like, he's gonna keep going through. He won't even know. Oh, he ain't doing that, my man, Don. Yo, hey, listen, man. Hey, hey, let me go. Let me go ahead and read that, man. That's what I'm talking about, right here. Uh, as K Baker's gameplay pops up, enjoy. Uh, hey, as you see right here, I showed a little bit on Twitter of me playing. Uh, uh, uh what's that game again? Uh, Bright Memory. Uh, okay. this isn't the. This is this is like the early access. What you seen at uh, Xbox? uh it, it's this is not it this is kind of like a demo ash stuff but it's really because it dope. surely looks better than that well yeah <laughs> no, but it's it dope. It's surely it's dope. look it's better than this it's, it's, it's the complete game this is just some but, oh, oh but hold on yeah. hold on let me say this for the record for yeah. dragon heart yobi hold on hold on let me finish what he said man because oh, he's bad. saying the truth bro he says true okay, he said okay, aka okay, the wanna... greatest human alive through all time and space, aka the Don's Pappy, aka the God of all yes, gods man, through the man. universe, BKA the legendary mega bloodline. That's what I'm talking about, man. I gotta get Yo, you. Hey, I gotta man, get you that. Catch his on the back. Anyway. Well, I'm gonna say this: what? if he was really your man, you'd drop some embers. Bro, that bro, stop that, stop that. You that that's em, that's embers enough, right there. That's yeah. embers enough. He's trying to get free work. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, stop it. Okay, all right. But thank, thank you, uh, Dragon. I really appreciate it. And thank, thank you, you for everybody with the sparks. I see you, Hinosis, yeah. man. You going? You you like spark hungry? That definitely um thank, thank makes the channel the, be yeah. shared out to different people. Thank appreciate you for the zappers. That. I really appreciate that too, man. Thank you so much. Sparks, you old uh, dude. We fought. We, I call man. I'm gonna call them zappers. They're little zappers. lightning zappers. <laughs> <laughs> zappers. You know what I'm saying? What I, 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 matter of fact, I'm gonna call them uh, monster zappers. I'm give you a manual like these, on these, abbreviations. Uh, these, Mo these monster wasps that are coming into the United States. So hell yeah, monster zappers. Thank you so much. All right, so <laughs> let's get I back on so. focus live. Yeah, but I am going to say something for the record. Y'all yeah, did bring up something. I don't want to really touch on that evil because I don't really care in the esports right. and all that. But right. yes. I love it. They oh, they look at that! Hold on, hush, hush your mouth. Uh -oh. Yobi is spoken. Yobi is spoken with the embers. Thank you so much. He said, "Embers, what? Close your mouth, fam." Peace, love, life, all love. I like that. Yeah, why you got to play PlayStation back on your right? Yeah, What's man, going on? That's what I'm talking about. Yo, because yo, yo, yo be plays it all. The sad face and everything. <laughs> yeah. He's over here like, yo, yo. No, that's but you play Dragon Heart, man. He's your loyal as hell. He be here every week. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah man. That's my boy, Ooh. man. That's my boy. That's his boy. I got I to I I get him back on the. I got to. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what? Speaking of that, hey, man, I don't think he'll be coming back, bro. I don't think he'll be coming back. So oh, okay, yeah. Um, but um, but let, let me get to that esports. Yes, um, sir. I don't think they should be catering to them professional players mm -hmm. and changing changing the game because it takes it takes the 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 casuals out of the, out of the mix. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it takes the casuals out, and you know we should get back to the days when the dev make a game a certain way. You know, like like I don't want to get away from what we talking about, but like in Call of Duty, dudes are complaining about guns that actually shoot like the gun in real life. So now they're nerfing guns. Like, dude, that's what it do. That's why they put it in there. That's why they have gun stats. Yeah. So if you start nerfing characters, you know, you got a big character who's slow, but he's a powerful puncher, and everybody's like, you hit too hard. So you take away his hit power? Yeah. What's the point of having the difference in characters if everybody going to complain and the devs are catering to these dudes? Like, I yo, listen, he was 100% correct. They like less than 2% of the population. Yeah, and, and but I think but see that part, but also too the, the other end of that too. This is the other end under the other end of this is that you got people that don't have skill <clears throat> playing a game that want to complain as well. I think that's the other part what K Mega was talking about. You got people that, for example, you know, if you playing 
fighting games, if you ain't never played a fighting game a day in your life, you gonna get your ass beat. Oh, facts. Facts. Okay. Crybabies. You know the crybabies. Exactly. And, and yeah, that's, yeah. that's also the other end of that. Like, you don't want to cater to the pro players, but you also don't want to cater to the crybabies either. The, no, make your game how you, how you want it to be. And exactly. when dudes start crying, be like, suck it up and learn a game. Learn how to yeah. count and remove or something. Stop catering put, to anybody. Put them, to, put them up to a YouTube tutorial. That's what you know. What that's what these de- developers need to start doing. Like hiring like YouTube uh, content creators and be like, look, we this is how much we want to pay you. Give them an in depth tutorial. Right. This. this is how you. This is they how have, you keep this happening matchups. to you. They exactly. have the match already. They have those things. No, where we're you not pay for coaches and things like that. We're not the talking about you. Lose hard. They cry about everything. I'm not talking about IGN. I'm talking about they actually have legit coaches. You can go to. They do. Um, yeah, right. You can pay for time. We're not talking about coaches. We're talking. Some, listen, 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 six. Some people need that. Some people need it. But I'm not talking about like coaches. Like I'm talking about like people that like. For example, when Street Fighter was at five, came out at first because uh, Combo Fiend, uh, esports player Combo Fiend, was the one who. Um, who did like he started this thing where he started doing like a tutorial session you know what i'm saying he's a tournament player but he's right. also the one also in street fighter 5 for a while you know in the development process so what he did was he actually said look let's put out a video set, uh, set of this is what they do it was like a little two three minute video of each character you know what i'm saying but like take it in a step further and be like okay look matchup knowledge this is the type of character that they are dealing with you know certain types of things i think they should take it a step further if they want to do that they, i agree with you that's, yeah that's, take it a step further and get your goddamn free, skills up and, and stop have, crying they have exactly. three websites that do that that tell you to frame uh stats and everything bro that's that's, that's the internet. Yeah, definitely but it's yeah, on the internet it's good, believe but, me i follow it trust I, yeah I'm but all the over it. won't be doing that you know they need something they don't but then stop crying stop changing that's the that's game for them but he's saying which over change but, is, but, what but I'm you gotta getting, make something that you gotta make is, something to fit the cut you gotta make something that no. fits the casual because the, exactly. the problem with the problem with the casual is like we know like i know about frame you know frame data and i'll go look up frame data and figure out why something works but most people won't do it because they think they get too uh what's the word intimidated by it so now, yeah, they're, well, they're like, oh, I got to know frame. What's frame data? Oh, oh, numbers? What the fuck are these numbers? I hate math. I'm not good at math. Exactly. That's too you know, tough, you know, for somebody who's just starting but, out, who, who wants to learn, but, and he just, you know, start. You know, but, talking listen, to you got to gotta go. You got to go. But I, but I, Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. They got auto combo mode on and off for the novices. Let's go. Let's move to the next topic. I know. I was, exactly. just, gonna, I was just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, let's go on. We, we've been going on on it for a little bit. Too long. All right, good stuff. Yeah, too let's long, go. Too long. Too long. I was just about to let you say your last part, and I was like, all right, we're done. All right, so let's get to the big topic of done. the night. Yeah, we're done. We're done. You can be done, but we're, we're done with that. You can <laughs> you can talk about it in the in the DMs, but you know, I, we're done. Anyway, that's why, so. that's why your face look like that's why your face look like you use tuna salad. Ooh. No. You know what? You you know what? Do you still got? Do you still have that? Uh, he said, ooh. Do you still got that that pink silhouette room that you that you got? I oh, should. I, I can, and it can change colors, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We'll up? talk about that here a little bit later. Uh, all right. Uh, Lala, baby. Hey, Thank you so much. Nah, appreciate just, it. Just appreciate it. Appreciate it. I know we we just clown like that all the time. Oh, no. yeah, we, we got a little baby. People. We got a little baby. Um, with them two hundred and fifty embers, y'all are all amazing, and you each bring a unique, refreshing viewpoints to gaming. I appreciate you all. And PK Live is level three eighty seven in Ooh, animal. Oh, she busts it up. That must be his old lady. That, but, that, that must be some. That must be his old lady or a good friend. Or One of eight supporters are oh, here. Man, three eighty seven. I am never played Animal Crossing, but I know that that has got to be a big ass number. You man, playing the no hell out of that, <laughs> bro? Dimes out of dude. You oh. you digging the hell out of some some platoons. And, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, oh, I remember. Woof. All right. Shout out stuff. to the Don that popped in here with them ten thousand sparks. The Don and Black Rider. 
The big spender, 100 stacks of speaks, baby. Woo, thank Man. you, Black Rider. Right. Thank you, Black Rider. All right, cool. Excellent. All right, so, okay, let's get to the big topic. Okay, all right. Well, so, no uh, love spent with 20,000. You just got to shout that out. That's yeah. a lot, too. Thank you. Thank and you, Don. Everybody. From Alex. I, I said, I said, every, I, t- I said, thank you, everybody, for, for your support. Thank you so much for those zappers, uh, for those monster zappers. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, so. Xbox uh, 2020, the event, it came out, it was there, uh, people uh, people have been excited about it. A couple of days before, or the day before, Rikari, uh, one of the people that was inside Xbox, uh, he sometimes do other events for Xbox, um, he came out and he says, hey guys, don't, you know, you need to temper your expectations, it's not going to be like E3, but uh, it's still planning on being a really good show. Uh, but let's not have these E3 aspirations. Got you. Next, Aaron Greenberg came out and said basically the same thing. He said, we're planning on having a really good show. Hope everybody likes it. Uh, but pretty much, you know, this show is not going to be like uh, uh, E3. We're going to show uh, some games that's from third party that that's going to be uh, showing off gameplay, trailers, etc. All right. So the XO event starts now this is going to be a two-part question so i'm just going to ask everybody to stay with the first topic that i ask and then we'll get to the to the last part to the to the to the part two uh afterwards but first i want to get your thoughts on it so i'm going to go to you live wire first um what was your thoughts about the xo event um you can give it a, a grade or a, a one to ten uh and what what game uh if any uh or games that made you say, wow, I, I, I think those are cool looking games. Uh, first of all, I like the show. I thought it was cool. Um, and uh, there's a couple of games I like, like the first game that you were talking about earlier today. Uh, was it Myron? What was it called again? Bright Memory Infinite? Bright, Bright yeah. Memory? Oh, Bright Memory, yeah. Bright Memory, mm-hmm. uh, The Medium. Scorn. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the other one I, I was into? Uh, obviously Valhalla. There um, was a uh, Ascent. There was uh, Corvus. Uh, Corvus was uh, the was the flying game. Was the was the like the Star yeah, but Fox Corvus game. is like kind of like um, Everspace. It's like yeah. that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. It looks interesting, but I don't know. I'm have. Well, I would just name it. I would just name a couple of games. There, there was Call yeah, but, of the. But the main, yeah, see, but the main ones like were obviously. Triple A of of the mall, which is Valhalla, and then it's Medium, uh, Scorn, and uh, the first uh, and Bright Memory. Mm-hmm. All right. So I thought that the the show started off great. Mm-hmm. Bright Memory. The one is a game I didn't know about. I looked at a couple of reviews. Other people didn't really know about it. Some there were very few people that did know, and even the people that did, uh, a lot of people on PC. Did not know about this game, right? So I mean, so I didn't just know about the, the game. So I saw, game. I saw, I saw game of, gameplay of, uh, about from it last year. I thought I had it from 2018, but I got it in 2019. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the indie game. Well, and, no, yeah, no, so, it, yeah, it's it's it's, it's from a, it's it's only made by one person, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 it's an indie yeah. game. Yeah, <clears throat> and the same dude is porting it over to one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know the, the, that game looks. Great. I can't wait to play that. Um now are we giving our full critiques or am I just giving um You just give it a grade and, and, and yeah, no, I'll get to you about the whole other stuff later. I just wanted to get everybody's thoughts first about the show, what they liked, what they didn't like, and then we'll get okay. into the meat the, the meat and All right. My later. my only my only dislike I would <laughs> say is I expected more gameplay, like most people. Right, mm-hmm. and it's and, and I was just thinking I wasn't thinking anything crazy because I knew it had to be under an hour twice, mm-hmm. and I wasn't a sure I wasn't sure how many games they were showing, but I'll tell you this I wanted to see for the games I did other than Bright that was the only one that really kind of some game it wasn't a lot but it was it was basically pure game, um but I would love to see gameplay for the medium maybe even if it was like two three minutes you know what I mean just just them walking around from in one area here, another area there, like just more gameplay. I didn't, I didn't necessarily need a full demo. That's 
I, that's not what I'm asking. I know some people were like, I need to sit down and play this game for 8 or 12 minutes. I don't need all that. I just need to see the game play for at least, like, you know, give me two minutes of it. You know I mean, you could cut it up in 30-second, you know, intervals if that's what, what they wanted. But that's what I was, I was thinking that. Yeah. So in that aspect, I was disappointed. I was not disappointed in the content. I was just disappointed in the fact that the content wasn't given to me in the spoonfuls that I wanted. I felt like you were letting me taste, like you were giving me great sauce, but you only put the sauce on the tip of the spoon and then put it in my mouth and was like, all right, let's go on to the next one. I'm like, wait, 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 we get some of this shit. No, 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 we're going to the next thing. Damn it. You know, that's, so that's basically how I felt. And then when it came to Valhalla, I was thinking, all right, going through the whole shit, I was like, all right, obviously they're not really going to show uh, as much gameplay, but for sure they're going to show gameplay for that because Ubisoft said they're showing off gameplay at the, the Microsoft event before Microsoft said they were showing gameplay for anything. So I was like, they're definitely showing gameplay. And I watched that shit, and I'm like, okay. And then when it was like at the end, I was like, all right. And then the 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 director came on, and then they didn't show no more gameplay other than like that little trailer. It was like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on here? And then it was over. I'm like, yo, <laughs> like I was tripping. It's like, yo, I can't believe this shit. Now what I saw, like, and and this is what I what I'll say. I me and Lemon spoke about this yesterday. One of the things that um had me perplexed is. Bro, that whole Valhalla shit, that's all the game. That's all, like, that's not no CGI. But you, if they didn't slow it down enough, you just watch it clip and clip and clip. You just think you're watching, like, some chopped up CGI shit. Where, they, where actually more, all of that is gameplay. So I'm like, all right, that that was kind of uh, a tough pill to, uh, to swallow with that. And then the other thing, I would say on top of this, like, all right, let's throw the gameplay out. And say that's not an issue no more, bro. They did not say exactly what you know what I'm like the features of what the next gen is like. If you're gonna do next gen and say all right, this is next gen whatever, like with bright, it should be like 4K, 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second ray tracing. Like it should say that shit next to the badge. It didn't say that shit. You gotta go online to look at that shit, bro. You can't do that. Like, I shouldn't have to go, I shouldn't have to find out that the median is a fucking exclusive that they built for Series X exclusively because they do not want to have anything less than 4K60 and the highest uh, fidelity for that game. But you're not going to know that unless you actually look at the articles that people wrote. Same thing for Scorn. If you don't look up, the reason why they only did it for Xbox is because they said that shit needs to be at the highest fidelity at a uh, I don't remember what the what the frame rate was but they said it had to be at some the the highest frame rate and the reason why they struck the deal uh they struck some kind of exclusivity deal with with uh Xbox just to get it on there cuz they were going through some development issues even getting that game out so the whole thing Microsoft dropped gave them bag they made it exclusive and but it's not coming to anything other than PC and Xbox uh, Series X. And it's not even coming to no low-end PCs either, again, because it has to be 4K6. So if you got a dog shit PC, you are shit out of luck, bro. You know, but other than that, man, like, that, those are my main issues. Just, like, I, I think they could have added more info with what they showed. Because otherwise, otherwise, you're really just looking at trailers, and you don't know exactly what you're looking at. They okay. could have, I don't, like, I feel like when we used to watch this, uh, the Xbox One X um, streams, I don't remember if those were in 60. I think they were all in 30, right? Because I don't think you could, uh, have they ever streamed them in 60? But I was, like, again, I'm keeping the limit. I'm sitting there like, yo, I'm watching the, sh the feed again in 4K 30. Bro, that shit don't look the same as when you watch it again in 4K 60. That shit's different. But when you just look at it in 4K 30, it looks like an Xbox One X game. It does for the most part, especially if you're not, you don't know if you're looking at ray trace or no flash. 
you just think like you're looking at Xbox One X until you actually go and look at it in the 60 frames per second version, and you're like, nope, that's that's 60. That shit look different. You know what I mean? That's why you hear people say dumb shit like Scorn don't look as good, isn't graphically impressive, and they talk about like uh, uh The Last of Us and shit. I'm like, bro, you looking at it on fucking 30 frames per second, bro. You got to go back, man. That shit look different, bro. You can't be... I mean, and, and most of these motherfuckers are watching that shit 1080p32, so that's even worse. But anyway, man, that's those, those are my things. Okay, all right. Good stuff. All right, let me go to uh, Lemon on this. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Let me go to uh, Op, because Op was pretty quiet there for a minute. Um, Op, what is your thoughts about the show? Uh, like I said, I'll come back to everybody when we get to, like, the, the main thought process of 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 the whole controversy aspect of it but uh mm. what what are the, what did you like and disliked about the show and give me your letter grade or your number grade one through ten for me i enjoyed the show pretty much i'm mm-hmm. really not one of the people who have my expectations for these shows to never come in with astronomical expectations or unrealistic expectations coming into it mm-hmm. i never really understand why people have those in the first place and some people make excuse of saying like we're impressed with Xbox did in the past, so they open their expectations because they feel market shouldn't meet those expectations. Which is really dumb because you really kind of set yourself up for a trap. And if they don't meet your unrealistic expectations for that, it's their fault where it actually is really theirs. No one told you to put them seven that high in the first place, but that's really on you. I digress. I enjoyed the, the, the games that they showed. <clears throat> the only games that I really wasn't feeling were dirt, I could have cared for the previous ones as well. I'm not a big fan of Madden sports sims that much and i think going on from there i already have make up with a, a lot of good points saying like the fidelity of the stream that would have been like 4k he said you're watching a 4k 30 but it should be a 4k 60 at that point especially for this type of show you're debuting gameplay what's possible series x really a show that has to be like possible you actually get a feeling of what it will be playing like series x at that point I mean, you don't have to make negative to the show, like, like, came with, I really just came in just excited for it. I, like, I read the articles beforehand, I read the, whatever they, whatever, I read what they were saying. This is much gameplay, trailers, and sneak peeks, they abused the new games at that point. And that's what I came in expecting, and I was pleased with what I saw. I'm really not getting into why everybody else is bummed up, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't have any too many complaints about it. It was a good show. The big inside Xbox show, I really hope you can do, you do, do, you do more of them. It's unfortunate to keep getting more and more shit about them, even they do adhere to what people are saying as far as critiques, but we can get to that later. But overall, I guess my grade for it would be like a B plus. Okay. okay. All right. Not bad at all. All right. Now, Lemon, I'll go to you. All right. What uh, what what did you think? I mean, what did, what is your your thoughts? Letter grade? Uh, what did you thought was good? What did you think was bad about the show? I didn't think none was bad. The, I thought I thought everything was good. They got right into the games. They gave you action. They gave you different new IPs, not a bunch of Call of Duty upgrades and and, and, and new face looking Grand Theft Auto files. I thought it was I thought it was a solid show. I didn't have no big expectations because I am not a real fan of Inside Xbox. I think they talk a little bit too much and they should need to show more gameplay. And this time when they started. Jibba jabbed and jumped into the game and then went to another game and then went to another game and then they cut to the people and then they kept that short, jumped into another game. Um, that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was good to see the next generation starting with some new damn IPs. Um, the games in particular that really that really uh got me hype is the Vampire Masquerade and um Corvus. And um, and the ascent. You know, I'm a big sci-fi shooter. I like that sci-fi scene. I love Blade Runner. I'm gonna love Cyberpunk. Um, I think if Cyberpunk is a 400-hour game, I'm gonna put 500 into it. I don't really do that, but uh, that's my generation of gaming is sci-fi. So I'm um, I was very impressed, and it got to the point. It really got to the point. It was like no BSing. Now, what was even better? is live put me onto this then when they put up that 4k 60 and i was like because you can't stream at 4k 60 people do not have the bandwidth they're fooling themselves all the complaining so if you really wanted to see 
better visuals. Less than a, less than 30 minutes later, they had a full direct feed, direct feed of the visuals. And boy, it was night and day. Because a stream can't do that anyway. So it was a win-win. I gave it a 10, man. Because that was the best inside of Xbox I've ever, I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Turn like I said, we've seen new games. I mean, who can who can who can cry about that? And they covered a lot of different games. They showed Japanese games, they showed action games, they showed horror games. The only thing we didn't see was an RPG. We got a sport game, even though you really can't tell what Madden looks like. But it was good to me. I was stoked and I was very impressed. Cool. All right. All right. Slayer, what uh what what was your thoughts about everything? You know, I think I agree with Lemon. Pretty much word for word, you know, after the show was over, um, I went back and I looked at all that video, you know, tr um, trying to pick a top three on that list. And other than the obvious pick of Madden as as not being in the top three, because I'm not really concerned with football games like that, every game on this list of, you know, games that were uh, uh, um, demoed on the um, Inside Xbox show just blew me away. Yakuza like a dragon, yet another Yakuza game. And this time, not exclusive, but um, has been announced on Xbox first, okay? Um, Vampire the Masquerade 2, 16 years in the making. I forgot it had been that long since the first one. It has one. been a minute, yeah. It's been a minute, okay? And The Ascent, oh my God, the cyberpunk whole vibe, the art style, and the graphics. You know, they work in tandem to give you a visual experience. It's just like blowing me away. Dirt is on a whole new level if they're able to do 120 frames a second. Horus, space shooter. I'm all into aviation. I'm a, I'm a licensed aircraft mechanic with airframe and power plant, okay? And so aviation is a big, um, it, you know, just something I care a lot about. And this game just, it's taking it to the next level in terms of the way you fly. Because at first, you know, you're flying, you know, like normal looking. And then all of a sudden, it's like it gets a lot faster. And it's like blowing through the environment. That's something I've never seen before. And then um, uh, what you call Bright Memory Infinite. I knew nothing about this game. As a PC head, and I play everything except the Switch, all right? That can wait till later until they, you know, appease me first. And then I'll buy it. PK, oh, but uh, oh, PK's just catching uh, heat, man. PK, oh, he, he going because he always trying to tell me about that. I don't buy You're talking it. to PK like he's a Nintendo mascot. Mm. Be careful, damn. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, well, PK damn. is our is our Nintendo guy. So if, when he comes to Nintendo, Nintendo advice, guy, I grew up in Nintendo. Too, he's so our PK. He's a Nintendo. Nintendo guy. So I mean, that a little bit now and then. But I anyway, know. Fight yeah. Memory Infinite. Um, as a game I didn't know about at all. And even the way it looks on the PC now with, like, the demo version, what do you call that, early access version, mm -hmm. uh, compared to what they have on this Xbox now. And this is all by one guy. The art style alone, I was just talking about the art style and the graphics on the on the Ascent. Oh, double for this game here. And it's all by one guy that makes it even more so impressive. So, just like, wow, that's just a game. And then Wait, you said the Ascent was maybe one guy? Because I know, right. Uh, okay fight memory i'm just saying the graphics okay, okay they're just um they both are blowing my mind and how beautiful they look and on um, the difference is this game was developed by one person yeah. so even more so like wow and then assassin's creed since the um was it last week or, or was it like a couple of days before it was a couple of days before yeah a couple of days before they showed the footage and and the positive reaction <laughs> hey i don't have to say no more on that like that and that game speaks for itself, and everybody's saying the same thing. And if you're hating on that game, you should stop playing games and go find you a new hobby because it's the same for you, all right? And um, so at the end of the um, show last afternoon, I was going to say last night, but it was in the middle of the afternoon or whatever, you know, I gave the show an 8, 8. 8.5 out of 10. And I'm thinking back on it, and we're going to talk about this other half of what people had to say and think and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about that crap. <laughs> it's that simple. The games, this is what y'all asked for. Games. That's games. right. They didn't show a lot of gameplay. Right, well, no, well, well, come, exact... come on, come on, come on. Well, you know what? You're right. You're right. Yeah, wait, but we'll quick. get into that. But yeah, yeah. 8.5 I gave it back then. I'm starting to think maybe I should give it a 9. Okay. Because when I look at the games, the list of games, 
Well, then half of them I want to buy. That's it right there. I don't have to see any more than that. Okay. You see that gameplay right there? That's not what K Mega was playing. No, and then I and somebody <laughs> tried to argue me down that it was yeah. another that it was a uh that this wasn't a true upgrade. Like that's why I wanted to show what it is, what it what it was uh, uh when on the PC right now and what the guy is working on to get it to that level and how it looks on the Series X. Like that's crazy. But anyway, all right, so uh we got two more. PK live. What is your thoughts, man? Uh, talk to me. Re remember, now I'm going to uh, ask everybody about the whole controversy situation. But first, I just want to know what you liked about the show, uh, what you didn't like about the show, and you give us a, a letter or a number grade. So uh, I think the show was solid. I, I didn't have any expectations. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like I was cool with what they showed. It wasn't an E3 showing, and I knew that going in. So. I wasn't tripping on uh, looking for like demos and all that. I think that's just too much to ask. This is May, not June. So I think people need to like chill out on that, um, especially barking down the fact that uh, Microsoft in general has been showing more than Nintendo. Even though Nintendo does their their uh, their monthly reveals and all that, so they do do a lot of that. But honestly, Microsoft's been very vocal as of late. Um, and I just think that uh, I think that people should definitely think about what uh, what what they really feel and not not necessarily uh, judging over some it just seems silly. So to me, I liked everything, uh, especially the Yakuza. I'm a fan of that. I just want to point out something. I noticed that when they showed the Yakuza, um, I noticed that it said it was coming out for a lot of things, PS4, Xbox One, and, and Series X, but it didn't have a PS5 listing. Mm. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Considering that um, I did see that too. I did see that. Mm, too. That was weird. I wonder it might be because you have to buy it twice if you want it on both those. That Sony is a platforms. great point. Mm. That is a great mm. point. All right, go ahead. PK. I thought 100 didn't come on tonight. Wait a minute. We'll talk about that later. Look, look read, the, read the DMs and you'll find out why 100 didn't come in. Go ahead, PK. Um, so, anyways, I, I just thought that was interesting. Like, okay. So everything but the next gen for Sony. Um, but I'm super excited to see that, uh, again, Phil is still working on our behalf to get us more, um, uh, more s Japanese games on the platform and moving forward, obviously. And, and that game is going to be big, regardless of who likes it or don't like it. It's it's a long running series, and it's been long running for a reason. So, um, I can't wait to see uh, it in action. And like I said, it's 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 the games that they showed. Whether I liked all of them or not, there there's something for everybody, and that's what I liked it. The fact that they showed a little bit for everybody and. Everybody got something to uh, offer or be looking forward to, rather. We admit that scorn is probably the weirdest and nastiest shit we've seen in a game in a long time. Uh, it, yeah, scorn is out there. It is. It is. <laughs> but there's you know, a lot of the game you probably call it. It was like, uh, Coggy, something like that. It was some weird. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Coggy. I can't remember the name of it. It was some weird game you talked about a while ago. Uh. It was, it, the only game that reminds me of Scorn is Agony. I, 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 Agony I, that's what it was. I bought I bought Agony, and I played it, and 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 I played about like three hours of it, and I was like, "Damn, this is up game right there. way out there." Uh, and it seems like Scorn has definitely that same type of vibe, just that it's going to run better and look better. But yeah, yeah. This great. Uh, like before they show a name, I thought it was like at first that was like a forty, like a Warhammer forty k game for a second. Just look at the yeah, face. yeah, I did too. Yeah. Texture. I think like wait a minute, look, is this aliens for a second? Yeah, I think I called that out too. If at first when they were playing it, 
Yeah, it was real weird. They showed us a score. Like, the hell is this score? They did some research. Like, oh, this is interesting. Like, this is definitely going to be a weird game. And I saw some more gameplay of it on YouTube as well. And like, it's a it's mainly exploration puzzle, but there's a little bit of action to it as well. But it's, it's definitely an interesting game because this, this is a hard left shit, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, it right. is. Now, me personally, uh, okay. I'm not into that that kind of game, you know, but I'll watch it and somebody else play it, but I'm not typically into those kinds. Right, like, because, I mean, look, I think people that has, like, a, a religious background that's 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 deeply religious, uh, like, because, yeah. I, I mean, as me, I'm religious, and when I played Agony, I was like, uh, I felt dirty. Well, church on Sunday, hmm? You go to church? Hmm? I don't know. I'm going to douse myself in some holy water, but, and I think Scorn's going to have that same type of vibe, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But go ahead, PK. I'm sorry. We've been interrupting you. No, no, you're good. Uh, I I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a game, so I'm not going to take it too personal, right? It's just not my type of game, but I know somebody out there does like that kind of thing, and what I like is that they presented it as just a teaser of what's to come, and that's the way I took the show. Okay, cool. All right, Lawrence, uh, you take it home yeah. before I before I get to my part, uh, okay, and then we get into the controversy spot uh, because I'm finna uh, just go just go in. But what did you think about what did you think and, about the show? Uh, give it, give me a letter grade, all that. Okay, uh, show was overall pretty solid. Um, what what struck me out is funny. Oh, oh hold, on, hold, on, first, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Uh, please, everyone, if you can look at your computers right now, watch one of the greatest trailers. Back to back oh. of all time because they're gonna show the man, the myth. There he is. Lock, baby. <laughs> Hashtag save lock. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go Hopefully ahead. He doesn't end up like the arbiter. <laughs> oh right. no, no, he uh, shit, the arbiter's still kicking. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. anyway, go ahead, go ahead. Anyway. Anyway. But uh but no, like I, I thought it was funny. The opening was funny because um maybe I think I was I don't know if I was looking at the right one because I have a couple of que- well questions that I wanted to ask. But um, I I saw. Did anybody see the uh, when they were talking? Uh, old dudes refrigerator in the back. Yes, we did see yeah, Aaron Greenberg. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that was funny. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised nobody mentioned that. I was like, like, I thought to be. I thought that was a nice touch. I thought it was funny. Like the self awareness of that was was funny. Um, but overall, gameplay wise, wow. Um, definitely something like like it was mentioned earlier. Something for everybody. Uh, Scorn was looking hella weird. That opening with the the whatever that little thing was that was dripping out whatever the fuck liquid that was that was not uh, mechanical strudel yeah man <laughs> yeah whatever that was that was I'm like but it, it just spoke, it, it just it spoke to the graphics of how how things are evolving with with the Xbox and so I like I definitely thought it was definitely a good thing I, I some of the other games that we're you know looking at I'm looking at the list right now to kind of recap everything. Uh, my question was: Were are all these games uh, third party? Most of these games are like third party. Uh, right? they, no, they're coming out to find out to be most of these games are going to be exclusives. <laughs> uh, most of them are exclusive. Yeah, okay, most of them heard... will be exclu- uh, exclusive or timed exclusive, one or the other. But there's definitely okay. three that's exclusive to uh, Xbox and PC. Uh, right, right. But uh, but like there's a couple of more. Uh, but everything else seems to be like it's going to be more timed exclusive, other than. The uh the the Namco Bandai game, which that's going to definitely be a multi plat, and right, and Dirt Five, Five and Madden. Those are the only three that I could say that that's definitely going to be a multi plat. Don't know anything about right. Bright Memory yet or anything on that one. I'm okay, definitely cool, definitely cool. looking. But yeah, some of the, the, these games were looking good. Um, let me see which one was I just looking at. Um, Scorn, of course, look graphically was crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, Chorus was good. Dirt Five. Code Masters, when I uh Code Masters has a good has a good track record, especially when it comes down to the racing games. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that was looking pretty good. Of course, Assassin's Creed, everybody was hyped about that. Um, like I said, it's something for everybody in here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely giving it a good solid um B plus. Okay. You know, solid B plus. Not bad, not bad, not bad whatsoever. All right, so it was short. yeah, yeah, that was that was uh, uh, it. It was short. It was really short. Now, okay, so for me, I'm gonna be quick on my little thing because I want to go in first Thank and, you. Then, and let everybody else. <laughs> I will because I know I can get on my rant. I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm, yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna save most of what. It's I Eleven got. o'clock. We doing I, excellent. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give a lot of 
my work to Xbot. On... Nigga, you see a chat right now, bro? It's crazy, man. Other yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know. I know. I, I, anyway, that's why. That's why I'm, I'm just gonna because I'm gonna save most of my work for next podcast next I mean, tomorrow night. Um, but I will say this: I thought the show was good. I I, I think we're all kind of like on the same same wave league. I thought the show was a B. Um, they gave gamers what they wanted, which was variety. Something that everybody has been saying, somebody's been asking for, um, and not no one time except for one game that I could think of, which was uh, Resident Evil. Uh, I'm not Resident Evil, but uh, Dead Dead Rising Three. I think it's the only horror s type game that's came out for Xbox this generation. And then now you're going to get ready to start the generation with two uh, two horror genre games that's a win that's a plus plus you have another you got you got of course some shooters nobody didn't really say anything about uh evolved which that really got me hyped four player co-op killing dinosaurs can't say i mean what what else can you say that that's that's a man's game you know what i'm saying uh so uh then then of course uh uh ascent i'm right there with lemon uh, on that 100 percent graphically that looks crazy i went back and i I did exactly what uh, Lemon was talking about and, and checked out because people thought that they shut the chat down because it was getting uh, some contra, you know what I'm saying? There was, a, there was some hate, but Xbox is not cowards like The Last of Us and uh, like Naughty Dog and Sony and then shut down anything. They just wanted to say, look, we're going to put this shit in 4K 60 so you can see it. And if you have, right. the, and if you have the proper technology, which you got the, the, the right television, and you can see yeah. the difference. And the right app. And the right you app. Have the right. 4K YouTube app. Right, right, yeah. right. That's why I, I had it already linked up to my television. So it'll show it right there. Boom, boom. Uh, and and you, you're absolutely right. Certain, uh, the, the Probably the worst looking game out of that was was uh, the vampire game, was Bloodlines. And yeah. even but when you saw it in 4K60, now the facial animation still looked, still looked ashy. But the but everything else looked crazy, looked looked polished, and we're also looking at that from a from a, from a feed, uh, like Lemon have said before. You're when you know when you get those games into your home and you're looking at it yourself, you'll de- you'll definitely see more. And then they haven't even really added the a- all the assets to it yet. So these games are still in development. Right. They, they didn't get the full polish. Early. They're going to keep... Man, these games are going to look fantastic. You can't see, you can't see the ray yeah, tracing. You, you can't, can't see, see the, the HDR. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't see none of that. The, the, yeah, but then even with... with, with you can the, see the great lighting, but you can't see yeah, it in HDR. I was going to say the lighting and then the detail. You can see the lighting, but you can't really see it. Right, you can't see it in HDR. Look really good. Right. Now, okay, so I'm I'm doing so I give it a B. I thought those I thought those games were really cool. Um, uh, but I, I, the one thing about it is I didn't come in uh, like everybody else with no high expectations. When I go into any event, the only event that I go in with high with high expectations is E3. Everything else, Gamescom, Tokyo Game Show, PSX, State of the State of Play, uh, Nintendo Tree House event, whatever. I don't inside Xbox uh, XO. I don't look. I go in as a gamer. The one biggest problem I think that gamers have right now or that that people have right now is that they want to come in to be like a broke man's uh, GameSpot journalist instead of going in as a gamer. Why the hell would everybody try to come in and try to dissect every little word instead of not look at the games? Dissect the game, not words and labels. So now that gets to my point. And then I'll go to the first person I'll go to is op on this. Um. I thought, I thought the Xbox community acted like some damn fools. I thought the Xbox community acted. I hit up Aaron Greenberg personally, and I had to apologize to him for Xbox foolish ass attitudes. They keep getting in their own way. I said this before, and I will continue to say this. Xbox fans get in their own way. They're too busy trying to get acceptance for other damn people that will never accept Xbox doing anything possible. It will never happen. It will never happen. 
if you are one of these fools, and I mean it, I don't care if you don't like me, if you if you unfollow me, if you unsub me, if you're one of these fools out here that's going to state more about the word gameplay than what was presented to you, and then the features that was that was offered, and 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 a deliver and, and a well, game pass and a smart delivery, which is saving gamers and families money. Shame on you. Shame on you. You're a fraud. You care more about image and, and clickbait bullshit than you do about what you're supposed to be as a gamer. That's just facts. Prove me wrong. Now, if you want to come up and talk about, well, the messaging is this and that, okay, fine. You could critique them on that, but I guarantee you, is Sony going to, is, is Sony fans going to have that same type of energy when they show more games? Because we can all count when we, so when we go see Sony's show in June, and we'll see how many games where people are standing there with, with controllers in hand showing off games. I guarantee you it's not going to be many. And you know what's going to happen? When, the, when, when some of those Xbox fans that's been bitching and moaning about the gameplay aspect, saying, where's the gameplay? I don't see people holding the controllers. You know what the PlayStation fans are going to say to you? That's a that's a AAA title, baby. That's a that's a PlayStation banger. That game is that game is exclu that game is this that game is that they're going to tout that game they're going to support that game they're going to support Sony they're going to support everything positive about that show. They're not going to knock them. They never do. But damn sure there's going to be Xbox fans that just can't wait to see the first negative thing and then to jump on it and then to act like, oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm trying to speak from a neutral standpoint. No, what you're doing is that you're setting back. You're setting back. You're the other side of the yeah, same point. You're setting, you're setting back and you sound like you're, a, that you're one of those flip-floppers more than you sound like you're neutral. That's real talk. So my last point on this is uh, I think that as Xbox fans, we don't have to have, I don't think there's nothing wrong as being, as having high expectations or being excited about games. Because when I go in there and I look and I see a game, it doesn't matter what show it is from any company, from PC on down. There's always for every show. There's always going to be at least one game that I'm going to be hyped about, and I'm going to I'm going to, and I'm going to be and I'm going to tout it. I'm going to show gameplay of it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to support it, and I'm not going to care what any fanboys got to say because they're more driven on hate and and and, and division than they are about gaming community being un, being unified. What this what I've seen is more division by ignorance than I have for anything else for the last 24 hours. So now I'm going to go to you, like I said, Op, and I want you to give me your points about this whole controversy situation. Now, do you agree with a lot of people out there about the gameplay aspect? Where are you at on that? Well, I personally don't agree about the gameplay aspect. I think that's the dumbest part of this whole debate. This overall issue I have, wherever it comes to Xbox related shows or anything like that, it's always a debate about the semantics of the messaging or the context of it at that point. I also don't get it. Like even now, like they're being transparent with what they said is really going to be about at that point. For some reason, people have some bizarre misinterpretation of what that really meant at this point. People saying they were expecting by five minute plus gameplay reviews of these games. Trying to figure out what the hell did you come to that conclusion at this point? I don't get it. Would it be nice to have those at this point? Of course. Who would not want that? That is not what this show is supposed to well, actually, this show is supposed to be about that. Throw back a little bit. When Xbox first came out, what was one of the biggest critiques you have on the show? It's too long. It talks too much. That's not too much. But guess what? Kind the criticism to heart, and they adapt to that point. So now we're at a point where if this show is adhering to criticism that people had beforehand, it can't do what y'all wanted to do because y'all said they shouldn't do that in the past. So now we're at an impasse. They listen to the critiques going forward, or they do their own thing? Because right now, Past critiques are conflicting what we have right now. What well, people saying they want more gameplay from these games, which equals a longer show. He told them they want a short show. Which one do you want? Make up your fucking minds at this point. Like we're going back and forth at this point. Now, people can't be consistent. Not everybody. Some people now can't be consistent with this right now because they're reach, they're going to keep the real bullshit. Like, like create all that whatnot, giving unnecessary critiques to Xbox, and when they do adhere to them, there's also another issue they have. They're putting something else on their ass right now. Now we're at a point where we're debating the semantics of what gameplay means. Like this, 
you can't know what that shit means. There's no point for debate at this point. You know what gameplay means. Like, it's, it's just it's annoying, bro. It's really tiring. I'm so sick and tired of hearing this, bro. Because, like, the same people who are saying, the same people who are saying that, um, you get to the review cases, they don't fall the PR hype or messing that some of these companies do, just don't their own expectations, are the exact same people come disappointed when he shows every single time at this point. Like, do you not follow your own advice? Point. So you're blaming them, saying you got hyped up beforehand, and you came back disappointed. You're saying people don't go in high expectations, don't get hyped up by them. Companies. Like, come on now. Like, I need to be consistent. Like, I'm also trying to marry all the bullshit that's going on this week because it's been a lot. Like, <laughs> it's just it's, keep up at this point, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember shot on the fly of what I said at this point, but like, this is very annoying, man. Like, I just I can't stand it. Like. Every time there's a show or content, there's always a big debate. The most ridiculous shit out there. I'm trying to understand, like, okay, I'm not get tired of this. Like, I'm tired of it. I was tired of that, like, first or second show. It's like Xbox, but it's, it's still going on at this point. Well, y'all gotta be consistent. If you want Xbox to listen to critiques, if they do, gotta keep the same energy when they do it at that point. Right. If you do, if you don't, like, it's really on you. It's really, most people are disappointed in the show. They really brought it on themselves. They pretty much hammered the Xbox all the shit they did wrong. So cataclysmic when they first debuted X I S box, and now they're listening to him. Now it's an issue. Like it's just, I'm tired of putting a foot in their mouth. I'm tired of making the, making the like, Xbox do something wrong when they really didn't. And going into that, like Aaron Gilbert, he had to come out and Chris apologize for being transparent. He didn't not need to apologize. Enough. He didn't need to apologize. Bullshit, man. He, they told y'all what it was. He told they y'all. Tell you exactly told what you were getting. He told you. He told. Don't get it. And, and, and listen, dudes are idiots. I, I know why he did it. I know why he did. They it. They have to say face. He explained it, but he, but that, but he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have apologized. That right. no, look, he really have shouldn't you, have. Have you seen any Sony, any Sony executives or anybody from Naughty Dog apologizing for all the bullshit that they've been doing? No, oh no, they've been getting, they've been getting no, they've been, they've been, they, they, they talk about they, it. Yeah, but they, they've been doubling down on that. They've been too, doubling really. down. That's the yeah. difference. Is that they're trying? They that 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 that's yeah. the difference. Look, I'm not gonna say that PlayStation don't care about their fans, but PlayStation has a um, they 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 got an idea, they got their identity, and they stick to it. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, regardless, well, I mean, wrong me, or right, and and I'm not saying that that I mean, but sometimes, sometimes, and that's what I told Aaron Greenberg. That's what I told Aaron. I get it, I understand it, I I know. I said, but sometimes y'all have to just stick to your yep. guns I'm and catering to the clowns. Stop cl- catering because there is going to be people that are just going to keep on just like just like the point that I brought up that we were all talking about the whole Evo, the fighting game situation, the game game uh sports games, fighting games getting getting uh patched for the benefit of uh, the certain few then the and, 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 and shooters, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and not you know what I'm saying and not the masses. But go ahead, go ahead, right. go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, look, look, let me, let me. All right. One thing I have to side with people that are upset is Ubisoft. Is, fuck. This is this is really falls on Ubisoft. And because Aaron Greenberg can't say, well, shit is what they gave us, he gonna have to say sorry. Right. That's all, because he's not gonna fuck up his relationship with Ubisoft and say, well, it's number one. yeah, you can't throw him under a bus. All you right. So and, and and Ubisoft said it was their mistake. Before Aaron Greenberg said it, he just came back and was like, "Sorry, but uh. so it's really because the thing is, you for the ones that had their trailer and said they're going to show it at Xbox's show on the seventh, right? They said they're going to show gameplay. They showed it over they, the weekend. They've done it in the past, but and they they've like always it. and they've always shown when they say, "Are right, we going to show you more here?" And then usually when they show something else, it's usually some the whatever minutes of games and that's what people expect because that's what they've done now due to the pandemic is the shit you know obviously shit is a little bit more difficult to do sure but the but the the issue was they did not convey that and therefore people just had ex- expectations based on that standard now everything else with the show that's different like i felt everything else was fine for what they because i like i said before my main issue was what you be like if you're telling me you're gonna show me gameplay, why the fuck? Because I know. But it, nobody. It's not like, but but live, nobody didn't go after Ubisoft. They went after Xbox. 
Like that's, 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 they, that's, that's what they were giving. Like, yeah, but, like, yeah, like, but like Sony. But, no, 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 no. But I, yeah, I, uh, I totally bro. get. I, I totally get mm. what you're saying. That's 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 what's going to be because yeah. it's like they're going to sit there and be like, all right, we was on your show and you should have no because number one, Microsoft are a partnership. You know they. Ubisoft can say they're going to show gameplay. Microsoft can take the trailer. It's not like they look at the trailer and be like, this is good enough. We're going to cut this up. No, like, they're not going to do that shit. They're going to just take what they gave them and they're going to present it. Now, you know, it wasn't what Ubisoft promised. So it just falls on Xbox to fall on the sword. But it's like, look, you know, anybody who has a brain knows that Xbox didn't make the trailer for Valhalla. I mean, and if you don't know that, Bro, <laughs> if you don't know that for real, like you are one of the dumbest motherfuckers. I, I don't know any other nice way to put that. Like Microsoft doesn't make trailers for any company other than themselves. Anything right. else, they just take it from the third party death. They don't make trailers for these people. Nope. So, so if, and they said July is going to be a first party event. They're telling it, you straight out. Because that's what they can control. They can control what they show there. They knew that they were not ready. That's why they pushed it back to July. That's why. And the other thing, the the thing that I find ridiculous is people were like, well, Batman's going to be here and all this other shit. Bro, what are you talking about? Like, one, having all the, getting this shit early. Like, all right, let me put it this way. When um, Valhalla, they were saying that the time frame that they had it for that was short, Right. Because Microsoft wanted to put something out early, you know, to, not only to to give them self time to space it out between, because they knew that they were not going to be able to do anything until July. So they they uh, hit up all those third parties and say, if you got something, give it to us, and we're going to use it for you know you know this this intro into next gen, right? So this wasn't like something was planned months ahead. No, this was like something that was like whatever you got, you know. We're going to give you a month and then put it together the best you can. And we already know that Valhalla is going to be showed later on in the summer. So, you know, the like, again, the only issue I have is with Ubisoft not being clear. Now, with these fake frauds complaining about all kinds of dumb shit about, well, Xbox should have known better to tell. Like, bro, that is not how a relationship works where you want something from, something from somebody and then now you're going to throw Ubisoft under the... Nah, that's not... Yeah. I mean, so it, 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 they can get it well, and tell, and, hey, and, and, this isn't good enough. Give me more. Like, no, like, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. And then also, you got to think about this. How is it that these same people that were doing all this complaining that were trying to jump on people because they were there was because Sony was, was bringing up about the COVID situation but they can't but but xbox can't have the same situations oh i want to see people with a controller in their hand showing me the gameplay well damn it they gotta have a whole bunch of people to sit there and to do that and yeah, they gotta stay happening. and they gotta stay six feet away from each other and they got to that's be in happening. a controlled environment on top of it, it that's gonna not going to happen yeah. Like, yeah, that's not think happening. for a second. The that's what I'm saying. His it doesn't, kitchen, man. Come it, it, on. It's, like, it's, it's, it's like common sense. It's not no. even logical what you're talking about right now. And let me yeah, see. You, and in June, when we see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm, I, I'm so hot about this. But in June, we'll see what's when Sony, when Sony does. And we'll see how that energy is coming from everybody at that point in time. Go ahead, Lob. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I was saying how, like, uh, Things people over there complain that now they just nitpicking my shit. They oh damn! Oh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I got to well, do this again. Ja Jazzy Noob said something and I had to go back to it. I'm so sorry. Live. Hold on. Hold that thought. Uh, Jazzy Noob with the embers. Thank you so much for the embers. He says, "Say that again, K Mega. I was disgusted as well. It was not my favorite uh, uh, inside Xbox because of pacing, but not content." Meant like words, speak, preach to me, preach to the people, preach to the crowd. All right, live. I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. Yeah, I think that at this point, some people they're picking up our shit, talking about uh, people's cameras and shit. And I'm sitting there like, the fuck? Like, I know Aaron Greenberg's camera wasn't the clearest, but bro, if you watch television, I watch mad shows. Like, it, you're talking about somebody's camera, like, not being clear. I watch people that do TV. You know, that's, the, that's what they do, and they shit not clear. So this bullshit about like his cameras, like, he needs to fix this mic. 
but man, you could all the way past me with that shit, man. Y'all motherfuckers out here just bitching about shit to be bitching when you talk about dumb shit like that. Like, come on, bro. Because that could be, and that's not even having to necessarily do anything with the camera. It could be due to everybody's at home, so your fucking shit is buffering. Bro. Like, yo, you all pulling from the same server. It, it depends on where you at. Like, yo, motherfuckers out here, deep. They just bugging, man. They just complaining, just complaining sometimes. But, like, the show itself was good. I think that some people, they feel that Xbox has to do crazy superhero shit. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, to to win back uh, PlayStation gamers that went over. Like, bro, I, I get into this. I, I had this conversation multiple times with 100. I'm like, I'm tired of motherfuckers saying that Xbox has to win back PlayStation gamers. Guess what? Xbox doesn't live in a box of 200, what is it, 250 million people that like constantly, right? And they just like, well, we got to figure out every generation around me of these people in this box that we're going to suck up in order to be the most dominant console. How about you look outside the motherfucking box? That's what Xbox did. PlayStation might be the one looking in the box trying to be the most dominant. But Xbox look like this is like a finite number of 250, 250 million, like battling between Xbox and Nintendo. And, and, you know, how can we look outside of this? You know, why don't they look at that? I don't I don't understand this. Like people are born every day. There's a six year old, you know, mo- uh, millions of six year olds coming up that never had a console. Like, why are you always thinking that the only way to for Xbox to grow is to get 40 and 50 year olds fucking trying to buy an Xbox? Like, I don't understand this dumb shit. But, you know, maybe sense. that's just me. Maybe no, that's just no, that. <laughs> I, I, some people say it's just you, but it makes sense. It made too much sense. Uh, appreciate the uh, appreciate the follow. Uh, dominate oddball. That man. You know what? That that's got me to be. Uh, uh, yeah, that's reminding me that I need to get back on my Halo Five so I can be on my back on my quest to 152. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and and thank you everybody else that's followed. I I was away doing something, looking at some other stuff on the net. While I was trying to, uh, well, you know, doing other stuff, sending out links and stuff like that, and I missed a whole bunch of people that followed. Thank you for the seven people that followed uh, during the show. Thank you so much. I'm I'm sorry that I, I can't get everybody's name, but thank you so much, man. Thank you. We're we're close. We're 40 away from 500. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And Hanosis, um, he said it's a uh, depressing seeing. All these stands complain about nothing. I think the the tides turning with Xbox uh, se- uh, sex, <laughs> the sex bot, great features, uh, great features, especially back to pad, smart delivery, and uh, is is a game changer. I, I totally agree. Like, I mean, that is if PlayStation has anything like smart delivery, which it's been rumored that they possibly could. What the, you think that the PlayStation fans is going to talk about the lack of gameplay because they might add they might say that in a in a in a headline or are they going to talk about smart or are they going to talk about PlayStation's uh smart delivery uh, uh, uh feature I mean it, it that's that's the difference is that they're committed to stand by PlayStation regardless sometimes to a to a detriment you know what I'm saying but in other times, <laughs> yeah, 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 thank you, thank you. But in other times, you know what I'm saying? It's it's to the point of just saying, look, man, look, this, I enjoy PlayStation. I love what PlayStation gives me. They give me those those AAA same template bangers. I get it. I do. I mean, you see my gameplay of Horizon Zero Dawn, one of my favorite games, one of the main reasons why I wanted a PlayStation 4. And I enjoy every minute of what I play with that game. Just like with God of War, I enjoy that game. But damn it. Can Xbox fans find a, find a reason to enjoy Xbox instead of finding a reason to try to prove to people that don't Apparently give a not. shit so. about your opinion to say, hey, look, I like what Xbox is doing. It's giving me, uh, you know, game content-wise with this show. Uh, hey, me- I'm sorry, but that's objectively wrong. We're not allowed to enjoy anything. We've got to be critical of everything. We've got to be keeping it real, these bullshit podcasts and whatnot, bro. Right. we got to our fans for at this point thank you you can't uh, do a shit everything we do is wrong 
Yo, I swear to God, this social media aspect of it too just makes it all worse. I swear oh, to God, I, this, I bring this up all the time. This reminds me of Super Nintendo versus Genesis, with but worse because of social media. And I'll tell you, as a dude who lived through that back then, I didn't have either system. My older brothers did, mm-hmm. and I went to their house and I played their game. Okay, and I, and at one point I sided with one system. And I remember the mindset. I remember the mindset. You would say whatever you could to shut down the other guy. Not with facts, not with anything that's objectively true, just with whatever it took to shut down the other guy. That's all you did, okay? I was 10 years old. At 11, I was like, dude, I'm playing both systems, just the turbo graphics, okay? And lots of import games because my brother was just buying lots and lots of games. A lot of my taste is owed to that. And I bring this up to be like, yo, that was the mindset of children. And that's what I see today. All I see is complaints, whining over the dumbest shit. Like, his camera wasn't sharp enough? Motherfucker, do you not notice the Xbox refrigerator that he secretly um, put into the background of... Yeah, it wasn't even real. That yeah, shit was brilliant, man. It was brilliant. That was brilliant. Yeah, it was just to be... It was just to be funny. Like, it was to be funny. Right. It was dope. Did anybody notice that besides us? No. You know why? Because they were too busy looking for shit to complain about. That's all they were doing the whole time. You know, um, in the GRG chat, I had post, I had reposted a tweet. Um, I'm going to post this tweet in the chat, but let me just make sure I get the right link. Okay. Okay? Folks, uh, oh, some weird shit now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, you expose yourself. Hey, you on your own, bro. Okay, so, okay, some dude. <laughs> um, actually, um, actually on your chair. Okay, hey, hey, y'all, let me My know little, if it's some um, high end or, or some other shit like tweets. that. Hey, man. Hey, or it's a high <laughs> Okay, one of them from the Xbox account. All right, mm-hmm. that said positive things about the games that were featured on the show. And if you notice, four tweets. Oh yeah, same. Right? Yeah, same the same dude has to re uh, has to reply. I was gonna say retweet. Has to reply the same bullshit. Yeah. Nobody liked it. Nobody noticed it except those people who answered him, maybe. And maybe they were just answering the original post. Who knows? I didn't even have to look. This is the mindset. This is the mindset. Okay. And I remember it clear as day in 1990 and 91, as it is in 2020. This is the mindset of children. Because no matter what you said back then, when it was Super Nintendo versus Genesis, Mm -hmm. you knew you were full of shit if you were saying stuff that was bullshit. If you were saying something that was honestly true, it was that. But most of the time it wasn't because you were just trying to win an argument. Eventually you realize, no, that doesn't matter. And that's what's still happening today. And these are grown or supposedly grown people I don't even have to get into the details of they did this, they did that. The first thing, his camera, dude, and you didn't notice the Xbox refrigerator in the background, you know, which he, you know, not to have to explain the joke, but you noticed that um, it was your little insult that he made into a bigger joke, but you couldn't even laugh at that. And that was the shit that y'all started. Right. Okay? And all he did was mm-hmm. he got up on camera and was basically like, okay, is the games you wanted? Oh, uh, you wanted to see games? Here, we're going to show you games. And that's what they did. Back to back to back. Games. World premiere. World premiere. After world premiere. Except for Madden. Premier. Other than that, everyone gets some football player I don't even know. And that w- was w- it. Watch your mouth. At, uh, I'm, not, Mad- I'm just Madden saying, whatever. Premier. Watch your mouth, I'm fucker. Saying, I'm, don't I'm go too far. You were going good whatever. until you said, I'm sure well, Madden. Shut you better get tackled. <laughs> yeah, you about, yeah, you about to get these. You about to get, you about to get. <laughs> hey, bro. Whatever the hell. Get yeah, bro. Matter, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, hey, game, hey, bro. I am known. But, hey, you better ask your boy, Lemetheus from the Zeus. I am known to bench press men. Don't, don't uh, come twisted. Well, all I'm saying is, <laughs> I don't care about Madden. <laughs> so, oh, was, Madden. you was there you too. Play you Madden, you play there. Madden. You I ain't mad. You was there too. I'm yeah. mad. I bitch press I men. Flexes, make that sound right. I bitch press men. He's That's known to bench press little men. I, 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 hey, hey. I, I remember, <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> big men too. Six, five. No, no. On the ground. Look it up. probably the reason my knee hurt. Let's not get there. You know. Let's not get there. We're going to Hey, I, I I don't know what you're 
talking about. I ain't taking no losses. Bring that up. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's true, folks. He ain't lying. I ain't taking no lawsuit. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking Either about. Either way. Like, <laughs> just, anyway. Y'all hit the floor and said, ow. <laughs> Hey, Mega said, you all right? I says, nah, man. Right. No, I'm not. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking Bench about. Anyway, bloody, keep yo, going, man. shit. Keep going. Keep going. Well, yo, <laughs> put simply, man, long story short, I'm I'm starting to repeat myself anyway. Other than Madden, because I don't care one way or another. It's a uh, popular game. But, um, hey, man, for those of y'all who like Madden, you're going to get another dope. I'm sure Madden will be dope, especially with this new hardware. It'll look more realistic than ever. I'm sure. I don't care one way or another. But I'm sure there's a legion of folks who are going to be real happy when they see it. Hopefully. Because you never know what EA sometimes they be messing up. By the way, who cares about this Madden talk? We talked way... You already done this... You already made me lose my um, train of thought. But to say that, yo, it's just this childish crap once you. again. It's the childish crap once again. Who cares? They wanted games. Okay, they the gamers wanted games. That's what he gave you. From his house on his so-called crappy net cam or whatever he was using, you know, with the CG Xbox refrigerator. Right, the refrigerator in the back. Because right. you're too busy looking at, you know, you're looking for things to complain about that you didn't notice mm-hmm. game after game after game. World premiere after world premiere after world premiere. This is what you asked for. And then they got up off the damn show and they showed a tech demo or whatever they were doing with Assassin's Creed, which I didn't watch because, um, uh, we were busy discussing and stuff. I didn't get to watch that, you know, in focus and like and focus on it. But they did what you asked when you complained because that's all you wanted to do in the first place. And I don't care what anyone says. The bias is real. I don't care about marketing and all this other stuff. And I'm hearing lots of great discussion in the chat and even the um the panelists before me. But put simply, if these same multi platform games was on a Sony stream with the same conditions where Ubisoft went and leaked out or whatever they did early if it was the same conditions if Nintendo did this and it was the same conditions, the same quote unquote mistakes happened, nobody would be complaining, that's facts the bias is clearly apparent, okay, I don't care what anyone says it's just what it is, undeniable I'm done Nice. No, I mean, and you were, and you're absolutely right. Thank you, Agent Slugger. Well, thank you for the uh, for the embers, man. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, man. Uh, let me go to PK. You've been quiet for a little while, and then Lawrence, I'll go to you next. Um, what What do you think, man? I mean, what do you think about this whole controversy situation? I mean, do you think it's warranted? Uh, like some people, do you think that the Xbox screwed the pooch on their marketing aspect of it, or do you think? Um, that 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 people are taking this way out of bounds. I really, because I haven't heard what you what you thought yet. So I kind of I kind of am in, in, anticipating what you got to say. So am I the only person on the panel that watches Nintendo Directs? No, every month? no, no, no. Well, I don't watch them every month, no. but I watch them. Oh, no. I, I watch them every month. Right. I have a Switch, exactly. and I, I'm I'm a Switch right. guy, but I just don't talk about it. So let so <laughs> Nintendo has. No, I don't talk direct. about it on GRG. I don't. I talk about it on my channel. They 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 have directs every month. Why and... you don't talk about it on GRG? I'm sorry, PK. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry for interrupting. Why you don't talk about GRG? Because you act like I hate Nintendo uh, or something. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> What'd you say? You know what I'm saying? We don't really talk about Nintendo like that. We can talk it's about Nintendo. I asked, no, I didn't hey, say, I didn't say I couldn't talk week, about it, but we every week, don't talk every about Every week, I ask you guys for some topics. And so I'm waiting for Nintendo, PlayStation, PC, uh, hell, mobile phone news. I have no problem. I'll talk about all type of gaming. I don't care. I game on, I mean, well, not so much on mobile. It doesn't hit your radar because you. You're not necessarily. Uh, well, no, it's hit my radar, but it's not something that's on like this. I don't think it's a comparable situation. It is. Okay. It is huge. Okay. Please explain. It is. Well, I'm not trying to get too deep into the woods on that. We can always talk about that later. But all right, all right. the reason why I bring this up is it's kind of like what you said. It doesn't appear to have as much media attention as every time Xbox has to prove themselves, and it seems like an ongoing thing. It's a theme, right? Every time Xbox shows a reveal or something on Microsoft, I'll say, not Xbox, that's a unit. 
Microsoft shows a reveal about the products and things they're trying to show. People uh, tend to try and nitpick on things to try and say, this is bad and this is bad and this is bad. And it's almost as if they're ignoring the fact that the, the other ones that you're defending is either also doing similar or worse. So for instance, when's the last time have Sony, not Nintendo, because Nintendo again does this monthly. Sony have done a show where they've shown gameplay on multiple games. It's been not this year, sometime last year, if that. The well, point is, these consoles, the next gen, is going to launch in less than six months. And yet, we haven't even seen what the console looks like, let alone the games. Facts. And and you're sitting here complaining about games being shown. And you want to say, well, I'll wait to the PS5 version. Well, think about it. You're watching an Xbox show. You're not watching a PlayStation show. And you follow every person that says something positive just to put in your little playstation bullshit uh, let me read no, let, me, let me read from uh agent slugger thank you so much he says only frauds are complaining bro you know i'm a million amen percent behind you amen amen <laughs> anyway go ahead go go ahead uh pk i'm sorry so, so all i'm saying is it when you when you when you back up <laughs> what can you complain about about something being shown when there's really there this is the only camp outside of nintendo mm. showing any games you know you're you're ba- and, and it's mainly those people that are on the extreme sony side i won't say fans i'll say stands that are trying to find something bad to complain about and it makes it 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 shows that they are desperate for something and i feel like they don't have no games to play because they spend mm-hmm. the time. That's why they were at the Xbox show to see the multiplex you know, that they want on their system, or so they claim. Well, but then they yeah. play on those same games that they want to buy. Well, those are, but those podcasts, those are called on the rag podcasts. Okay, but oh, continue. Oh, okay. So, so <laughs> I seen a tweet. I know you guys didn't see it, where this guy says, "This is the best uh, Assassin's Creed game coming out." on this date he meant he was showing ghost of Bushima. first of all that's a samurai it's not a assassin i'm sorry to get nitpick for that but there's a reason why i felt some type of way about this because you're sitting here basically crapping on assassin's creed saying pay attention to this now that's cool you like this game and all and and but this is the extreme bananas that they do yeah, and, if I can add a little bit. Well, I mean, the, to the yeah, thing. Boy, y'all love, cut, y'all, love, y'all love y'all love cutting my boy and PK off, but go ahead, op, go ahead, op, go ahead. Say oh, sorry, I just want to add something too, real quick. Because I actually did see that tweet, but people who are really compare, want to compare Assassin's Creed to um Ghost for some bizarre reason, saying like we know more gameplay, we see more gameplay from Ghost on um, Valhalla when Valhalla didn't exist like, last week. Assassin's Creed must apparently be an Xbox game now because you know. Well, they, they did that with Red Dead because of the marketing. Red Dead is a PlayStation game. Yeah, that's true. Well, the, the, well, no, no. The Red Dead, Red Dead had marketing from PlayStation, but because of the comparison of Game of the Year, PlayStation fans went after Red Dead because God of War was available at that time. So they were like, "No, we don't care about Red Dead Redemption." Be better on the Xbox One X. This was universal acclaim. So of course, you know, right. Another reason to hate it. Right, right, right. So go, go uh, just go like ahead, do, well, just like uh, Tomb Raider, uh, for instance. Tomb Raider got all that hate because it was mm-hmm. it was coming around because it, it was threatening Nathan Drake. And listen, I I played both games, and and and, and even though Tomb of the, Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider wasn't my favorite out of the trilogy, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider was a better game in my opinion than. Than Uncharted Four. I mean, that's just me. Back her crown, right? She did. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, PK. I'm sorry. Okay. PK um, so polite. PK so damn polite. I would have cussed y'all out. <laughs> he is a good dude. <laughs> I, I just. So my my thing is, I I do believe there is uh, some sort of bias. I mean, it's it's apparent, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think people need to step back and relax, because there's always going to be games that are not for you. Like I said, Nintendo does it every month, and nobody seems to blink an eye because nobody, 
a majority of the people do, do not pay attention to these Nintendo Directs unless it's a big game, unless it's a big announcement. Most of the time, we ignore it, or I won't say we, but a lot of casual folks ignore it and don't say anything. There's no gameplay. There's nobody with controllers. It's just showing some games is coming, and that's it. It's about 30 minutes of nothing but showing games. That's pretty much what we've seen here. Regardless if it was gameplay or not, this is not E3. This is this is May, not June. I keep saying this. Only time we truly get those kind of experiences is during June when they do those kind of experiences. This is just a prelude. And it, for them to, for people to complain, it, it to me, it's almost like you are either bored or don't have anything to do. You should be gaming, but you're not. And, they and have no life. For you. They don't have these games they talk about all day. Well, they do have games, but most of them are single player. And remember, those are one quitter, one done. And you're done, you know. Oh no, I'm talking about these fanboys because this is because it's not the first one. Because Chris is not the first one where we've seen their PSN account and they have a bunch of these, you know, low budget games with no trophies at all. You know, I'm gonna name the dude, but there's been countless others I I could name. It's it's okay. I I see Chris as a fan and not a stan. Okay, I I look at Chris. Chris, Chris, look, like I said, Chris probably won't come back onto the show. I'll probably see him on the Xbox idiot. show uh, because God. because of uh, what happened uh, this week. Couple of well, uh, the, the yesterday or was the day before yesterday. I had to mute him no because he um, he came at me. Uh, he came at me with a question, and you know how Chris is, and so I, I you know, what I'm saying so I indulged him, and so I basically gave him an answer, basically saying, you know, look. And I can't remember exactly what it was because it was a couple of days ago, and this is when I knew that this was he was on that he was on that on that on that that BS garbage. So he baited me to 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 reply to him, which I don't look at him as like a threat or anything like that. I just look at him as just a person that's trying to get uh a, you know what I'm saying try to get you know trying to appease. PlayStation fans so he can get up higher in his in his in his in his uh follower count or whatever. But uh, you know what I'm saying? So I answered the question. And so he took what I said to him and then he posted it and tagged people to make it seem like I was out of the blue just trying to talk about The Last of Us 2 again. And I was like, you know what? I got you. Mute. I'm not even going to fall for that garbage again because I because I look at right. it, you know what I'm saying because I'm like listen I get that you you try to you know what I'm saying you know and, and like people look at the, this this is the thing that annoys me more than anything is that when people try to be in, try to insult you or or try to berate you or or try to or try to do the little gimmick shit to try to get you to reply or whatever and then they come back oh man it's just jokes it's no no you know what I'm saying it is jokes but it's you're a grown with- man this is this this is this is this isn't talk toy stuff this is you wanting people to jump on me to berate me like i just came out the blue to say something negative about a game that you probably won't even buy until it's on sale you know what i'm saying so yeah so 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 that's kind of like to me like so when i muted him and so i didn't see him in here in the chat i was kind of like you know what look he probably ain't even come back and i don't care because you you know what that type of stuff that those type of action it shows your character as a man you know what I'm saying? And, and and if you try to play games like that, like stand behind your words, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted to say something or whatever, then if you wanted to say, hey, look, this is how I had this conversation. This is to all Xbox fans on this issue that I had with an Xbox fan or or whatever that you want to do, that's fine. But don't talk, don't give me some bullshit question. Then I give you reply and then you use it as bait. That, 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 that disgusts But that's me. what he do. Well, that's why I be. That was the first time he did that to me, and that was the last time. I'd be destroying him. I'd be destroying him because he only comes to GRG with that. He don't go to nobody else's podcast. Yeah, yeah, he 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 might do it on next. I don't be at next all the time. He does it on next. I don't. I don't know what he does. I've seen him behave in other people's podcasts. I'm like, like even tonight. Yeah. I'm watching Bloody Stream. I'm congratulating him from his one year success. He's almost at absolutely. Um, 15, yeah, he's at 15 or 1600. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. um, Christopher Hart is in the chat. I'm like, why are you here? I ain't say nothing to him, but 
I said it to Sick because me and Sickers mm-hmm. on the phone. I said, why is this dude in Bloody's chat? Cause, cause, I mean, because look, he's a supporter. I don't, like I said, I don't, I, don't, I never support, had a he problem. He didn't try to start drama. Well, he I mean, is. He is. He, he is. tries to upset. But, he tries to upset the, uh, the 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 party chat and yeah. cause or, you know disarray. Yeah. I, I but the it. point but, is, yeah. why are you in bloody? Don't even have that type of community. Why are you there? Right. You right. know why? Because like I always said. He's a weirdo, and it, it, it well, wouldn't be surprised if he's in the what? backyard plucking feathers off of pigeons. Well, <laughs> well that part is true. Go ahead. Something's Go ahead. wrong with this dude. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, I think is wrong with this dude because it's been a couple of times I've you know I've questioned his sanity. Real talk, and if you look back in in past chats in the past couple of weeks, in mm-hmm. fact, he's quick to be like, "I'm not crazy," and he says in a way like, "You know, if you say that, <laughs> like you know, he actually is crazy." Facts. Oh. Yo, yo, I told sick so many times. I said, "People, please read." This. Read what he's tweeting is definitely a reflection of his intelligence. Exactly. I, I don't I always I, see that. I, no, he's I don't. Weird. I don't think. I don't think he's. Listen, I don't think he's a he weird dude. He's dancing think, around like that dude no, that took his jump up in uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, no, he ain't. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't, he ain't, kill, he ain't Bill. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't Wild Bill. But no, no he no, might be Wild Bill. No, 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 no. This is how I look at it. Look, I don't think he's. He's. He's a. He's a. He's. A, I think he's a smart individual. What I think it is is that. Well, no, 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 too much credit. No, no, I don't Ugh. think I don't think he's a no because I mean he, he's 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 not like I said he's not a threat in the sense of somebody that you feel that that would do some that would do something to uh, that that you have to look at and worry about that would try to. Uh, I think so. He's definitely the reason for them Channel Five commercials. Do you know where your kids stop are? Stop it! Stop it! But <laughs> but the one thing the one thing that I do have a problem with though is is that. Listen, be a man, stand behind stand behind what you what, what you're doing. Don't try to bait because it's all you know what I'm saying? Because now I all you know what I'm saying, look, I, I get I get the hate. I get the hate. I understand. I pop stuff. I even had Luca pop up and try to do some cute shit and it went and, it, and I was like, What are you doing? Like, stop it. You know what I'm saying? I already know what this is. Stop. Stop. You know, any other time, you know what I'm saying? Somebody in, in, put me and her in a um in a DM. And I don't have no problem with this chick. I've I've defended her from Livewire. You know what I'm saying? Like I stood up for her when Livewire and her had problems. Cause I'm like, Live, you got to chill on that, right? And and yeah, and, I was upset about that too. Yeah, I, I'm sure you was, but you know what I'm saying. But like, I'm like, look, I don't have a problem with her. Stop it, stop it. I know Live, you 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 know what I'm saying. You, you you're crazy sometimes, and I'm like, damn. But I'm like, come on, you know what I'm saying. But wasn't even my fault. I I, 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 I know, I know, I know. You but, know how I go. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. But let's not bring that up. But back to the original subject. Back, back right. to back Chris to the, Hart. Chris Hart right, is I'm going back emblematic to of all these other folks that we talk about. Yeah. And we've been t- I've been telling you very specifically for a while. We've been having debates, and you would have to stop the whole show to be like, nah, he's he harmless and blah blah. blah. No. Once again, we have to talk about this, dude. And I hope this is the last time. Right? No, no. That, that's that's, of his that's truly this, this conversation because it's directly the show. This is my first time. To... This is my first time and my last time talking about Chris. And like I said, I don't. I, I just, <laughs> well, no. Everybody else, is, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we'll talk about <laughs> it. In the, I, I ain't know about no Chris. No. But yeah, don't even worry about it. Like, this, this is a whole different thing. But the thing, what I'm trying to say is, listen. Um, I've gotten to this point now. It's like, look, I don't have no problem having a debate with anybody about my stance because I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? I know that maybe not every time I'm right, but I'm going to stand and you got to, you got to convince me I'm wrong. And the point of it is the only feedback that I get is the same hateful, disrespectful, like I'm on the internet. I will never say this to you in person. If I do, then that's going to be a problem because you, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. And I'm like, you know what? Mute, 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 mute. So I muted him. And and so I don't expect him to see him anymore. Maybe he'll be on the Xbox shit, but I'm never going to acknowledge the, the man's name ever again on GRG next or anything else. If I see him on it, that's it. So. Bye. I hope to never have to talk about this more. On we we again. well I'm I'm not that maybe maybe Lemon does because Lemon seems like somebody he's, about about it sometimes, he's still the example of the mindset that I've been talking about that we've all been talking about. It's just there's nothing there but bullshit. Uh, it's not nothing positive, nothing useful. Just you know, we have to spend 
20 minutes talking about this moron. You really don't. We don't. I mean, we've already made the point. We already made the point. I, like I said, I'm not going to call nobody no moron or nothing like that. I don't think the man is dumb or insane. I just think that it's... I do. There, there's, there's, there's a thing. But anyway... I second, I, I, I second that motion. <laughs> you don't even know him, but you just said you second. All right, so... Okay. I, I, I don't care. All right, That's so uh, <laughs> we're, off, we're off of that. Uh, shout out to you, Chris Hart. I hope you uh, live in your best life. Um... <laughs> The uh, uh, okay, so uh, PK, <laughs> PK, you got you got any last words before I move on to somebody else? I'm I'm done. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> so PK is like, I'm tired of you sons of bitches come, come cutting mm-hmm. me off. All right, so uh, Lawrence, uh, mm-hmm. what is your thoughts about this whole situation? I don't know how familiar you are with it, uh, but I do want to hear your thoughts about it. You know what I'm saying? When we talked about when we talked about this the the console war back you know back in the game oh back yeah in back in the days yeah. Nintendo like Sega and, and Super Nintendo mm-hmm. it was actually a difference <clears throat> there was a difference like for example the Aladdin version of the the Aladdin uh, Genesis version was different than the Super Nintendo version sure. you know as well as well as the Contra um, hell even fucking we'll go as far as like Xbox 360. Or fighting games is like Street Fighter Four, and um, play play differently on the Xbox 360 than it did on PS3. And matter of fact, at one point it was the the tournament standard because it was more stable. Now, at this point, you're you're dealing with stuff that is literally literally no difference. There's there's literally no difference. All it is is just going on a different platform of choice and giving people more people an opportunity to play your game, which is great, which is good. You know what I'm saying? Now, especially with now we have the technology to to kind of bridge that gap between graphical differences in games. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the difference between the arcade version and the console version, blah, 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 blah that's great. Leave it where it is. Like some of this debacle shit, like I, I think it's stupid. Like people were complaining about where's the gameplay, where's the gameplay. And I'm like, why are y'all complaining about this shit? Like, and and like it was mentioned earlier, like it, right now, everybody's like, it's cool right now to hate Microsoft. That's what it is. Right. It's literally cool yeah, right now all over again. to hate my hate Microsoft. Because oh well, Microsoft did this. Microsoft da 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 whoop de woo. And I, I got a I got a you know a friend of mine on Twitter, Twitter friend of mine that he leans more towards PlayStation, and 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 I've had like he's you know had had a run in with PlayStation too because PlayStation has its problems, and PlayStation right now besides the whole Last of Us bullshit, um, they're having a problem with uh, censorship Absolutely. in their games, right? Yeah, that's a which good is thing. which Everybody's is talked about that. Yeah, which is stupid. W- which is straight up stupid. Like, why are you censoring games? Because what? Because, like I said, like we talked about earlier, the 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 few normies that that want to come across that happen to come across a Japanese game with anime titties. What are you tripping about? Like, if you if this is not your game, then don't play the fucking game. Why are we crying about? trying to make somebody play our uh, play a game that you don't even want to play at all. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. if I don't I don't play like for example, I don't play NBA 2K online. I really don't play it like that mm. online. I don't play it uh I'll play it for the my league, the creative stuff. I create a whole team, do all that shit. But I barely will play it online or play anybody. And you can't make me feel bad about it. Why? Because that's that's not what I want to do with the game. I'm competitive, but I don't feel like being competitive in that game. You, you, that's that's the point, and people just need to get get that through their fucking heads. Like, okay, if you like Xbox, you prefer Xbox, like I do. I prefer that's what I prefer. I prefer Xbox over PlayStation. Don't get me wrong. I play pretty much every every system, but I've been on PC now. Really, to be honest with you, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm once you built your PC, PC, yeah, you've been that. You <laughs> that been, was yeah, yeah. I've been I've been out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because like it's like I've been. You know, if, if if it's really something I really want to see, guess what? I can mod. I know people that mod games. So guess what? They got, for example, we'll say Dead or Alive. Dead oh, or yeah. Alive. They got mods on Dead or Alive. Yeah. You don't want to pay two thousand dollars for the DLC? Oh, you can get guess it for what? Free. 
get it for free. Somebody mods it for you. Oh, you want your game to look different? You want your NBA 2K game to look different? Hell, I can, you know, talk to, uh, you know, B Shadows. And, you know, he can point me in the direction of, uh, you know, PC mods for, for well, sports don't, don't, games. Don't, you, okay, now, we are live. You don't want to get the, you don't get to get our boy uh, exposed. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get a call from from somebody from from Ronnie? You know what I'm saying? Yo, so, yo, yeah. Hey Meg. Yeah. Oh. Eleven fifty seven, homie. Let's go. Oh, my all bad. right, cool. But cool. yeah, go no. Ahead, ahead, um, but no, like, man, they, they don't and they don't really. It's ten fifty seven for me. Anyway, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't. Be, you know what I'm saying? God's time is ten fifty seven. Right, Central Time all day. Not no, playing. Uh, anywho, time <laughs> <laughs> but no, but like honestly, if you like, like you like what you should like what you like. Now, mm-hmm. Like, like, like I said, this argument now is not the same argument as how it was years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is not this, this whole console war is starting to be like okay, it's bullshit. Like now it's just you playing. You know, everybody knows how to play. It, everything's all the evil player for it. It's just what you prefer to play on, and it's just stupid. And making trying to make people feel bad and that's basically what it is you're trying to these playstation stands are trying to make these xbox people feel bad and do these clickbait titles too mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying these playstation fans a lot of it you know i know you were saying that it was a lot of the uh xbox fans or whatever mm-hmm. I, I don't think a lot of them were xbox fans a lot of them were just people that were playstation people trying to you know get in and, and no, try there, to see there what's was, going there, on there, there was xbox fans there was xbox fans that was including themselves Not- into, into the fuckery like that True, but from what I've seen, it was it could have been both. both. It, it, it yeah. was both. It, it was that's primarily PlayStation I, fans, but yeah, no, 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 I got you, I got you. Man. Yeah, that, that's I'm seeing more PlayStation fans on my end, but mm-hmm. it, it's just like, look, if you don't like Xbox, then why the fuck are you over here? Like, what the fuck is your problem? Go play, you know, go get on, you know, strap yourself up, you know what I'm saying? Put your, you know, put your boots on and go ride the Sony Pony train. Go get over that way and let us, you know, let people enjoy things. Learn to Damn, didn't that sound like my speech when I was sick and couldn't talk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Shout out to <laughs> shout out to shout out to Alex because he said uh he said he said basically Lemon was over here saying, ooh, we he telling you eleven fifty seven midnight ass kicking coming or something. You know what I'm no, saying? Right. Boy. Alex, Boy. man, he's been going Boy. at it for a while now, Boy. past couple of months, man. Boy, I'm still Good dude we, right we, there. We're going we gonna to wrap, still... we gonna get ready to wrap it up, man. Now, you're you the last you the last person. But go ahead. But go ahead. Go finish. All, I'm, all I'm saying is just like, first of all, well, on a side note, you we still ain't played Killer Instinct yet, but anywho. Um, oh, we can play. I, I, <laughs> I keep telling you, Sunday night fights, man. Come on, bring, I, I, bring your I, stream. I, Bring it, bring it, bring your name. I, hey, hey, what, hey, what, wait, what is that shit that you say? Bring your game, bring not your, your name. name and not your name. Yeah, suckers, come in here, and I guarantee you, you face Vamp or Trizzy. You know what I'm saying? Or me? You gonna get it? You gonna get it from one of us? I, I you can, gonna get I, it? I, I mean, the other or, two. Or okay, games out sites come in here once in a while. I, I I can I can pay I can see about the other two but K Mega come on now K Mega I'm gonna put K Mega puts hands on you boy look look I got I still got I got I got receipts Anywho. where I put it on you yeah you may have beat me like maybe five maybe ten ten twelve times in a row but I but Ooh, but, but see okay. this is the thing this in Killer Instinct you know what I'm saying Tekken you 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 can't you can't bring you can't bring anybody else but Jack. And then I hold that's back because that's all I that's all I wanted. That's because that's but what I want to But with. if I I'm bring my o- but if I bring my Oscar, then it's a whole different issue. See, this is the thing, right? <laughs> like I I want to learn to practice with other characters. The only person that gets on my f- nerves is Trizzy, because like I said, you know what? I got to. I, I you know what I'm saying Trizzy gets on, well Tempest gets on my nerves a little bit, but then I figured out that you know I got I, okay I got Tempest, but uh. Yeah, Trizzy's the only one that gets on my nerves when in Tekken. You know what I'm saying? So once I get into that that fact that factor, see that's why you got to come in here because I got I got people that can play these games, man. Even if I'm not the best at them, I got some. I got core. You know what I'm saying? Even the even the dog comes in. Even the dog comes no. in. Hey, but dog, you should have seen what he just said. He said, "Don't make me post gameplay from last you Sunday." No, know, I you should say I was talking me and me and Val, me and Val, me and Val got that's into saying, it, and me and me and. That's what I'm like. Me and Vamp got into it, and then Don took advantage of it because I didn't, I was like, damn, somebody's getting their ass beat. The next thing you know, Vamp is like, Mega, why you ain't playing? What are you talking about? Oh, so Don over here gonna show he got the perfect on me, and I didn't even hold on to the sticks. Me and Vamp had words. That's okay, but you know what I'm saying? It's good time, good time. And then there's there's unstable. Like, man, I'm telling you, man, 
uh, Sunday night fight nights is a great time. And it, and it, it brings out the competition juices. Stop being scared. Bring Nobody your game, scared. not your name. Who who's scared, bro? Like what? You what scared? Are you talking about? I'm telling you, come bro, on in here. The only thing I'm scared of is your ugly face, bro. What are you bro, talking about, bro? <laughs> bro, bro yo, you, yeah, stop. you need to stop because I'm gonna say your girl said totally different. So anyway, right, let's go. Okay. Ah. All right. Like all right. All right, light bright. Okay. Yeah, just, <laughs> hey, 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 hey! You talk to a whole bunch of light brights up in here. You hear I'm this, fellas? He talking, talking bad about light skinned people. Look I'm, at this. Hey, don't look, look, look at this. Look at this. Don't try to get people to jump in. What did old boy say? Don't try to get people to try to jump in between you. Hey, I'm, I'm talking I'm, to you. Hey, I'm, uh, hey, I'm hey. To K Mega. Hey, bro. Don't don't get the, don't don't get the, don't get this uh this pretty face twisted, bro. Because I will I will I will commit. <laughs> I will commit heinous crimes. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here, baby. Let's get the hell out of here. Like I said, just just cut just cut the shit, man. It's like honestly, Mm -hmm. it's to me, it's just this 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 shit is just ridiculous. If you don't like place, I mean, if you don't like Xbox, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop letting this this narrative bullshit happen. That's that's all I'm saying. It's like people like the narrative is switched to where like, oh well, we 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 you know, PlayStation is the best. It it boils down to numbers. Sony's done. I don't give a fuck how many numbers. Sony sold or whatever exclusives they got, it, are they good? Can do I? Does it make me want to play them? If the answer is no, then guess what? I'm not playing them. Well, I don't care. And then The Last of Us Two, it sucks. I'm sorry, I didn't like the first one, and I didn't really care too much for the first one. And I heard about, you know, it, it sucks that the leaks happened, but you know, the, the a matter of fact, uh, there was more to the story that the person got um, the original writer of The Last of Us Two got kicked out. And oh, replace yeah. with what a- we have a- now. Amy Henney, yeah. Amy Henney, yeah. Exactly. So, you know. And we knew there was trouble behind that way back when. All yeah. right. All right, other yeah. Zinc. We're, be, we're being done. I know Don is sitting in the wings. I'm trying to delay. I'm trying to delay as long as possible so I can tell Don, man, man, with GRG went a little late, so we don't have to do Dev and the Gamer. But y'all over here insisting, oh, oh, to... insisting, especially Lemon over here. Look, man, oh, you that. only gave oh, us man. half ass show last week. You should give us a full hundred and ten percent, three and a half hour show tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Lemon probably went back to sleep. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> he did. Uh, huh? What you say? He did. I heard him. I heard him snoring a little bit. Oh, <laughs> that's why he was over here crying to get out of here. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. All right. So, uh, Live Wire. Well, no. Let me go to the guest that just popped in here, like a uh, like Live Wire used to. Lawrence G. You know what I'm saying? LG. What's up with you, bro? Thank you for coming on, giving your uh, expertise and thoughts. Uh, where can they find you at? And then uh, get the hell out of here. All right. Fine then. Come see me on Sunday. I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> you know no, where to find me? Find me, please. I can find. I look. I'll be able to find everybody but K Mega Watch. Watch. Watch what happens this Sunday. I'll be I will right see everybody, there. but I will see everybody right but K Mega. Watch. Right I'm gonna there. be on Twitter at two one zero LG, and I'm gonna be Mixer. DMing everybody. Well, uh, yeah, you can do your thing on, on Twitter, but we'll be on Mixer, and, then, and we'll give it to you. I'm talking social media. Hold on. Hold oh, my on. bad, my bad, my bad. I'm Hold sorry, on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, yeah, I was I was working until it. Let me let me work. Let me work. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. you know, follow me on Twitter too and on LG. You know what I'm saying? Where I might go back and forth with K Maker. You know, maybe I don't know. We will do. I don't, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> you know, he he ain't about that action. You know. Oh boy. Anywho, boy. Um, but no, I'll be trying. I'll be trying to help him out from all the all the bullshit that, that that be happening to him. I'll be trying to help him out. You know, raise my shield like I'm from Bahala. That's true. But That's uh, true. <laughs> true. you know, follow me on Twitter two one zero LG Mixer uh two ten LG as well Twitch two one zero LG uh YouTube Lawrence Gilmer on YouTube. No doubt. Big shout out to uh. Soldiers the game, man. I, I can't say enough about about her, man. You know what I'm saying? She she hey. supported every last one of us. Miss K for sure. Big, hey. big shout out. Much love for, for, for her. And big shout out to B Shadows. I think B Shadows is still mad at me, but oh well. Uh, you know how I am with my mouth. But anyway. Uh much love to B Shadows, man. He's always gonna be one of the people that I I I, I uh I give utmost respect to because he gave me an opportunity when others would not. Uh, PK Live. Speaking about somebody who ain't giving him an opportunity because we keep over talking him. Sorry, it wasn't my fault. It was everybody Let's else. Cut some out, though. 
yeah, cuss yeah. him out one time, yeah, bro. No, you out. cuss out Slayer and Lemon and hey, no, 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 I had nothing to do with that. I had nothing to do with that. And Livewire, you cut, you cut them, you cuss them out. That was not me. I know you a nice guy, but you and I know you be like to you know play little games on on Nintendo and shit, and you know what I'm saying, and that makes you a really nice person. You gonna get your light skin revoked, your car revoked. You gonna stop doing this crap, live. Right, exactly. I didn't even say that. I didn't say anything. I was quiet. You know why? Because I was eating. Look at this. Look at this. One away. One away. Begging for a pass. You over here making excuses. PK. PK's from the mean streets of uh from from Ohio, man, or Maryland, or some shit like that, man. You better watch out. Ohio, hey, Ohio, mean sheets of Ohio. You don't want none of that. They don't even have streets in Ohio. Oh, <laughs> man. <Jesus laughs> All right, oh, man. Bad, where, 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 can they, where can they find you at, PK? Uh, you can find me here every Friday on GRG and at PKX Live on Twitter. No, no no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. He's in a hurry. He's about to get on some Nintendo, man. He's like, fuck y'all. Uh, I gotta get my turn. My turn. What's the turn of prices at Animal Crossing right now? Oh, I didn't even. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Picking tomatoes. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Green beans, tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm tomatoes, tomatoes. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Agent <laughs> Slugger. Slugger. Agent Slugger. Thank you for the embers, man. Really appreciate it, boss. All right. Op. Where can they find you at, brother? You can find me on Twitter, Operation Oppo. Of course, I'm here on every GRG and every Saturday on Smash Podcast at 9 p.m. Eastern. Oppo, who this woman? <laughs> he said it's say uh, Hoppo. He didn't say uh, he didn't say Hoppo. He said Op. It's Operations Op, not Harpo. Oh my god! I know Oppo. Who this oh, Operation Oppo? <laughs> I mean, Oppo. Oh, oh, he, he called you Big Old for referee. That's a damn shit. <laughs> big Old. Uh, <laughs> shit. All right. Uh, uh, okay. I'm out of here. Slayer, sick Slayer. Yeah. What's going yeah. on with you, bro? Where can they find you at, bro? Bro, I must be a YouTuber in training now, because as much as I say I'm not a YouTuber, you know, yesterday I showed my ass when I messed up that outro yesterday. Yes, you did. Not making the fact that I'm here every Friday on GRG. Mm-hmm. And you can all find me on every game platform that matters. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oof. Except for that stadium. Except for, for the Switch. Cool. Hey man, you better give that respect to the stadia. Stadia's life, baby. And see here, I would try to defend the fact that I didn't mention Switch, and, and then somebody else had one knocking. So PK, you go after him, not me. I didn't say nothing about that. But that's uh, I got a switch. You can't go after somebody that got the system. I got smoke for that stadia, but for another four weeks, I'm still on that free ninety nine. But other than that, I'm on every game platform that matters, and you can find me also on Twitter. Again. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, fraud. You ain't got no switch, so you a fraud. Other than me, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got live with your um, what's the name? Your game up. I got ten uh, miles to feed. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my, uh, I'm on my. But what's that game from? I mean, that movie from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, I got ten. Man, I got ten miles to feed. What was that damn movie? Uh, Running Man. Total Recall. Total Recall. Come on, ask the movie man. god. Total Recall. Uh, oh, Best uh, movie. Lady when I, when three I, when I, when I, when I find a, a movie god, <laughs> I am going to talk to somebody other than you. How about that, fuck off? Jesus. Okay, oh, you, ain't gonna get no, you ain't gonna get no answers, but no problem. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway, no problem. Li- live wire. Where can they find you at, man? What's going on, bro? You can find me on my channel. Uh, basically, putting up a lot of gameplay recently because, mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm just stuck at home. Most of these gear tactics because that's my shit, though. That's you know, my shit, bro. You know I'm what? This, you know, YouTube is gonna tear this damn video up when I upload it. They're gonna be like, hell, hell no, hell, no, 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 no. <laughs> they talk about three titties. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, live wire saying motherfucker every other word. That's not cursing though. You Three titties is not cursing. That's but yeah, good. But yeah, it's, it's over for me. It's over for me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Bring out the funeral dancing meme. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. man. You know what? I can't. was dropping the end bomb. I was like, Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he dropped the end bomb right off the bat. He, he forgot sure where it was. Did. He sure I was did. Like, I was like, mm -hmm. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you know it's going to either be limited to no monetization, and what what and if it goes to limited, then it's going to be the well, same. They're going to ask you to pay a fee. Yeah, he's going to ask me. Hey, you need to pay us to let this video Wait, be. You changed. talking about YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. They're going to yeah. clown it. So. Sorry, man. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over for me. But anyway, uh, what'd you say? Answer it. I, I'm not censoring shit. I'm just gonna sit there and just just roll with it. I'm just gonna put say put the green yeah, bar on and say let's go. We ain't everybody yeah, was talking right. like church mount church mountains. That we good. We oh good. my goodness! All right. They're, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to monitor. They're gonna have to figure that out themselves. Let their computer go through it since they that's what they, they the got. algorithm. Let that algorithm hit me. Anyway, Tell them the algorithm these nuts. Uh, oh, see, thank you. We're done. <laughs> anyway, all right. So last but not least, one away dragons. Where can they find you at? Uh, good to see you back doing your videos. What's going on? Thank brother? you, son. Yeah. Um, go check out my latest video today. Y'all might uh, find that information good. I went over the, yesterday's whole uh, uh, inside. Um, you can find me at One Away Dragons TV on every social network, YouTube, mainly preferred, uh, Mixer, Instagram, Twitch. You know, Mixer, all that. Hey man, mm -hmm. help my man get to a thousand. He is at one. He's yeah, at I'm nine, almost there. Need fifty more people. Let's get he, it. He's at he's at nine fifty two. Go ahead and go support him if you have not. Uh, excuse me, one uh one oh eight dragons TV. I took a little sip and that shit burned down the chest. I'm like, oh lord, <laughs> like gee. Get that comedy content and them skits, baby. Come get that work. Let's Woo! get it. Can't All make right. it by the gross get it. here. Well, oh, boy, I got, hey man, I got, you know what I'm saying, man, I, hey man, when I, when I lift, when yeah, I lift, juice is strong as hell. When I lift up the, when I lift up the <laughs> shirt, you know what I'm saying, all gorilla, all man, baby, we better get that back, silver back, you know what I'm saying, you better understand what a man is, son. All right, so thank you guys all day for coming and checking us out, man. I really appreciate y'all coming to check out GRG. Uh, we kind of got back into our same groove, man. I think it was because of Lemon coming in here being a damn fool as usual. PK and uh, Slayer, they, they're in an op, you know what I'm saying? They're gentlemen. They know how to talk to the people with proper educated minds. The only person I had to really worry about was live, but since 108 is back, I mean, the show is turning shit. So thank you. I appreciate oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, man, as usual, we having fun, man. All brothers here, man. Uh, big shout out to my sisters out there, man, GWG. I see that they're looking for a new logo um, and all that. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to say this to my girl Delilah when I see you. Hey, you want to ask about that when you was asking for that G-O-G-W-G, that G-R-G -G logo mm, to get something mm. off. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you now. Big, big, big shout out to my ladies, man. I, I love all them girls to death, man. I, I, I wish them so much success. Yeah, they reached uh, out to me when I was sick, too. Yeah, no, I... Uh, you know what I'm saying? People don't, you know, they will never know how much I appreciate them. Um, Delilah was the very first person I, I reached out to because of her expertise. And she did not think she had the chops to to get on YouTube and, and show her expertise. And then, and then of course, Lady Infamous. And then, you know, you got Sharice. And then you got Bzzz. L Boogie. Uh, Boogie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? The Shout out to Lady Infamous go, and L Boogie. I'm go Call check of out those ladies. Go support them. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, hashtag, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, black YouTubers, black gamers, man. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of us need... I need to support each other all day, every day, um, instead of having all this conflict and Black bullshit. Black excellence, right? Yes, yes, you know what I'm saying? We try to keep this shit as, as, as fun, but as legit as possible. So, everybody out there, thank you for the support. Uh, as I always say, which I can't say right now until we get some kind of some normalcy, you know what I'm saying? Don't be doing no pants off, dance off, unless you got somebody right there with you. Don't be going over to no strange chick's house, you know what I'm saying? Or, or ladies going over Wait to no strange. Wait a minute. Can't be we can jack that up. I'm back. Do it right. What'd you say? <laughs> no, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do that. We could do some hunching. You know what I'm saying? That's some hunching. You go out there, you can hunch. You know what I'm saying? We got, a, we got a pandemic going on, bro. We can't be doing all that crazy shit right now. We want people to stay alive. Hey, Mega? Yeah. Hey, Mega? That's coming from a married dude that got, got built uh -huh. in hooch. Got built in hooch. Facts. Uh, facts. You know what I'm saying? It's coming from a married dude with built in hooch. Facts. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, y'all can't be doing that, bro. Y'all uh, can't be doing it, but me. I can, you know what I'm saying? And yah, 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 and woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Everybody have a good night, man. Thank you so much. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No pants off, dance off, but get to some hunching. We out. Peace. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> wow. We out, peace, man. We good. <laughs> All your gaming news and our special topic of the week. Make sure to join us every Friday night, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central, and 6.30 Pacific. This was the DRG Podcast.